What is going on, governors? Chiskul here, and today we're going to test max skill. That's expertise. Zoogliang. This is not data sims. It, it's the real deal, baby. He's getting expertise. We'll see what he does in game. And by the way, my sparring partner today is going to be none other than Yoda808 himself. He's going to max him first. I'm probably just going to max him anyways as well because fighting is tomorrow. And as much as I like value from the Wheel of Fortune, I also value smashing my enemies and expertising what might become the best commander in the game for Garrison, Rally, and Field. I probably just need to max it the day he shows up. Hey, thank you, 120X, for the super chat. I appreciate you, dude. Let me jump behind the table here. Yes, Yoda. Yes, really. Cheeks will be clapped. Bro, it is going to be crazy. The pass opens tomorrow. This is the fight you've been waiting for. Between 1254, 1302, 525, and 365, 846, and 945. I mean, come on. I mean, come on. You've got to be hyped for that. Blaze Daily, thank you for the 18 months. Good, old, good luck on my spins. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Lizard Jesus, let's go. Tosh Point, 01. Zugliang. Yeah, I mean, he's, he's goaded, bro. He's super goaded. Why am I here? Cheers. Money uh, Monkey Luffy. Cheers, Lev, Sin Young, Paquito, IJ Sam, what's up? The Gaming Porg, Frederick FR, Fubian, hey dude, how are ya? Chua Abel, what's up? Good to see everybody in the chat today. And hey, yo, Achilles, pro gamer. Thank you for the super chat, dude. I appreciate you, man. Very generous. Thank you so much. Let's jump in game, shall we? Oh. Chino, thank you for the super chat. Have you played Rainbow Six Siege? No, I have not. Pretty sure that was Ruz's game of choice at one point. Abel, thank you for the super chat. Good luck on your spins. Hey, chat, you know what else we got here? Let me jump in voice, first of all. Let me jump in voice. Right. Um, cool, cool, cool. So, I have some things we can do while we wait, chat. I have these armament crates over here. How do you think it's gonna go? Cheers, Abel, I appreciate you. Thank you. Your videos rock every time. Let's go, baby, let's go. King Marley, what's up, dude? Hey, what's up, man? Um, so... Testing. How do we want to do this? I feel like we got to take, like, all the armaments off. And all the equipment off. The way to do it, though, is to just use, like, line formation. Or echelon formation. That'll keep all your armaments on, but not active. Does that make sense? So it's actually really easy. No, taking off all the armaments would have really sucked. Uh, but what you can do, and I'll do this now. So the gear comes off. And I think we have to do gear off, unfortunately, because we want to see, like, should he be primary? Should he be secondary? Don't you think? Um... That's interesting. You could match gear. See, Yoda has so much gear. It's kind of crazy. I mean, alternatively, we could say, you know who should be primary? We just decide. We just decide it's Zhu Liang because... 
he reduces the damage of the enemy. So you'd want him to be first in the same way you'd want him to be, uh... Not if you had Boudica, you might get out more damage with the Boudica. You think Boudica is the other top tier field option? Yo, Lizard Jesus says, Spinning the wheel, 50k gems. Wheel till broke. <laughs> thank you for the super. Yo, Justin, thank you for the tin gifted, brother. I appreciate you, man. Let's go. Circular AoE confirmed. Yeah, I think in the Chinese servers, they already revealed it. it's that. Um, so... Do you think we just gear up the old Z huge and have him run primary? And then I guess you could also gear up Boudica because you, you've got two sets of equivalent gear you're saying and uh, and just run it like that. That means we don't get to test a Henry primary. That means we don't get to test a Nebu. I don't know. I think we just run it without gear, man. I think we just run it without gear. And then switch your you just switch your formation on the commanders you're gonna use to Echelon. And um the the three pairings all use. Yeah, so Echelon only buffs other troops. Triple line is fine. That's just March speed. Yo, Ender! Hey, thank you for the 10 gifted, bro. Damn, this stream's cooking. Off to a great start, man. 20 new members gifted off the rip. Let's go. Let's freaking go. Wow, I mean, hey, everybody enjoy the gifts. Uh, So, I'll put Nebu in. I I'm not going to use Nebu primary, but I'll put him in Echelon for now, just in case for a test. All right. Uh, ooh, I got to get Nevsky into Echelon. So Nevsky, Joan, I'm going to run. I guess I could put Tata Kibben Ziad in Echelon. Whatever. I'm not going to use him, but it's fine. So we're just, just confirming that we're good. We're clean. Everything looks good. I'm going to use Nevsky, Joan. It's got Echelon. I'm going to use Boudica, maybe Isong. We're good. It's got Echelon. No gear. I'm gonna use maybe Skippy. Um, let me fix that. Probably not gonna use Skippy. I'm probably just gonna use Guan. If I'm feeling wicked, I use Skippy Sargon. Where's my Guan? Yep, he's got Echelon. All right, we're good on the commanders, which means now, <laughs> uh, I max purchased the master's tools. We'll be the judge of that together, chat. If these are the master's tools, or maybe... Maybe these are more the servant's tools. We'll see how the polls are. Are you ready? Oh my god. Yeah, practice is set up. Um, we can confirm that real quick. Ark of Osiris, practice match, management. Um, we've got me on the left. Yoda 808 on the right, so we're good, man. Looks like Miss Vic might join us, too. All right. Let's open up some crates, baby. How bad could this go? How much money have I spent in Rock and Cod together? Like 120 grand? Probably more. Maybe 125. All right, what do we got? Garbage. Garbage. Ooh, almost good. All, almost good. High roll attack, high roll defense, low roll all damage, but that's, that was almost good. I almost could have done something with that. 
Okay. Nothing on this legendary. Almost something on this legendary. It was starting to cook, but then ran out of steam. Ran out of gas. And then trash. All right. Chisco puts my one grand spent on rock to shame. It's a lot of money, y'all. It's a lot of money. But I can be a degenerate because I make it all back when I make content. Y'all realize I make it all back when I make content. I'm, I can be a proper degenerate. Uh, I do also have a lot of fun, but you know, just saying when y'all hear it's a lot of money, like it is a lot of money. And also, you know, it's like a strategic choice I make as a content creator to differentiate myself. GG, get wrecked, total garbo. All right. Hey, no big deal. No big deal. It's only 20 epic crates worth of nothingness. No biggie. Okay. Here we go. You got 1.6 all damage on an arch formation. That's pretty good. The maximum, I think, is 2% all damage. Mit Mit. Hey, thank you for the super. That means double inscription. Red pulled on Justin's account was crazy. Bro, I did not know that you could get the hunter inscription like a special inscription and a regular inscription on our armament justin's armaments are insane they are insane yeah hunter combo bro i did not know you could do that but that also means that the loot boxes have the best possible rewards which is you know you know bit of a yikes you can't, yeah, you, you cannot make that armament. You can only pull it from a loot box. Correct. Is it good when you have one and a half percent all damage on armament? Yeah, it's good. All right. Well, all my epic crates were complete dog doo doo. We got five more. Maybe this will work out for me. Come on. Dude, it lagged. Like it took a minute to be like, oh, man. I got to think about this. I was hoping that meant I was going to break the game with good loot. And instead I got, I got nothing over here. All right, now we go to the legendaries. Oh, God, this is like $385. Echelon gold inscriptions. Oh, yeah, no, echelon gold inscriptions are cracked, bro. The echelon gold inscriptions are absolutely freaking cracked. If only there were good echelon commanders besides Trajan. If only. And, and okay. Yeah, and then, and then you've got people like Cortex who will argue that that's still a trash commander, so GG. Uh, okay, legendary, formation, choice, chests. Hey, 10 of them. Here we go. 10 at a time. Wedge formation. God help me. Double inscription. Ho! Neil, you free to play peasant. Ho! Ho! Okay. Okay. Wow, now it gets real. Here we go, chat. Are you ready? Siege stats? Don't you dare. Don't you dare wish siege stats on me. Don't you do it. Come on. This could be chat. This could be game changing. This could change everything. Or it could change nothing. It's possible it changes nothing. But it could change everything. You were here for the double inscription. It can't be Hunter on this particular piece, but it could still be a, a special inscription. Oh, man. All right, hold on. I got to hit record. Maybe I'll turn this into a short. Here we go. You were here for a double inscription. Armament pull wedge formation. What's it going to be? Oh, God. Don't do it. Come on. Uh, not good. 1.7 archer defense. Deflector. Troop takes 3% less skill damage. Enduring. Deal 3% extra counter. We lock it, but it's trash. Uh, Neil, you free to play. Uh, 
Uh, you were here. Uh, racked. God dang it. I don't think I even use this, honestly. I don't think it, I don't, I, like, I actually don't even think it's better than what I have. It was so hype. And the old loot slot machine put me in my place. Just like that. So, well, is it actually, is it better than what I have, Cortex? I, so I have 1.9 attack, 1.7 defense, 2% health. It, it might actually be better. I, so the 1.7 defense is duplicative. Let me ask this. Is 3% less skill damage better than 2% health? Yes. Okay. Is 3% extra counterattack damage better than 1.9% attack? But overall, we'd probably say this is still an upgrade. I think it's better. Yeah, we, I think we use it. I think we use it. I mean, in the field, you're you're eating tons of skill damage all the time. That's like the primary form of damage you take. All right, and then on my Nebu real quick. Oh, we've got only 10 minutes till the battle begins. GG. Where's my Neb? Gosh, bless. Now that I have all the equipment off and the armaments off, everything's all out of sorts. So on this dude, what was I using? Oh. 1.1% defense, 1% health, and 2.5% Oh yeah, so this this is an upgrade over here too. All right, I get a hand me down. I get a hand me down upgrade onto Nebu as well. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. That's not terrible. Technically an upgrade, and theoretically when I can re-roll, maybe it'll get better. Maybe it'll get worse. Okay, chat, are you ready? Ten more formation. Choice chests, legendary tier. Here we go. Come on. Wedge formation. All right, we got one inscription. Pray. Chat says pray. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Nothing so far. Uh, not quite. Not quite. Low roll, low roll, low, low mid. So we'll lock it, but... Triple archer stats, but low rolls. Tragic. TBH. Kind of tragic. Okay. This could... Hey, this could be good. Single inscription could be good. Uplifting. You know, every 10 seconds after battle, your normal attack goes up by 1% and to a total of 5 is actually kind of insane. But I feel like I needed more stats on this one. We definitely lock it. It's definitely interesting... But, uh, change the formation on the Nebu. All right, good call, chat. Good call. Nebu still has the wrong formation for our little test sesh coming up. All right, final 10 pull. 385 bucks. Was it worth it? Here we go. Formation choice chest. Legendary, 10 of them. Come on, please. Here we go. Come on! Okay, we got one inscription. Probably not amazing here. But the but triple statted could be a thing here, chat. It'd be cool if we got that. Looking pretty suboptimal so far. <laughs> okay, well we can we can make it up on this one armament, right? We could make it all up right here, right now, chat. This could be it. This could fix it. This could fix everything. This could solve all my problems. Could even solve world hunger. Come on! Cav Cav eclipsed and then barb damage. Take 2.5% less skill damage. We got a low roll, a mid roll. And I think we take some L's on the loot slot machine today, chat. 
We can check to see if this is any good for me. It might be, but I don't think it is. We can do a quick checkeroo on this one. Nevsky, is this an upgrade for you, buddy? Wedge. Uh, ooh, assertive. 2% extra damage while on the map and 2.6 defense. Yeah, I don't think we're beating that one. And... Okay. Master's Tool Bundle is such a scam. Thank you, Dark Obi Spell. I appreciate you, dude. What's that? Uh, ooh, no city skin. Good call. I should change around uh, all my other stuff too. Where's my XY? We'll check him real quick. Did I get an upgrade over here maybe? What do I got here? Uh, ooh, uh, is this an upgrade? What was it, defense and attack? An eclipsed. So, okay, what would you prefer? You think the new one's better? I think so too, right? Two and a half percent less skill damage taken is way better. Yeah, okay. I mean, technically, we got some upgrades, chat. Technically, we got some upgrades. Small upgrades. All right. That's cool. And I believe that we're here. We've arrived. Is the Wheel of Fortune here yet? Oh, we got five minutes. All right, we got time, chat. We got time. Five minutes and we start the testing. Dark Obispo, thank you for the super chat. I appreciate you, dude. Uh, don't enter the practice until you got the co commander. I will probably enter right away and get set up. Yeah, sure. I can get set up. No city theme. Commander tab. I'm going to cleanse all the relevant commanders out of there. Oh, I already have. GG. All right, cool. Are you using an attack token or a defense token? Okay, make sure your troops are all home, by the way. If you're in the pit, you got to run at home. Funny joke. Okay. Sorry, so which token are you using? I was not paying attention. Oh, I'm using an attack token. You want a mirror? Just 5%. Will a 5511 Zugliang be good? Yeah, use it. 100%. I'm going to use it. Um, I'm probably going to refrain from maxing Zugliang on my restart account, even though I could just max him right away because I'm not going to spin him a lot. Because I'll probably run a video to test 5551 versus Expertise just to show how good it is and what it's worth. So I'll probably pump the brakes on that for now. For now, chat. Next, Zenith. Um, I don't know. When was the last Zenith we had? They're always three months apart. It's once a quarter. Am I going to stream the... 49 1960 kvk probably at some point but remember i've got a pass opening tomorrow morning tomorrow morning chat this opens and the next two weeks of my life are gone all i'm gonna be doing is fighting so will i spectate their kvk only when, maybe when this is all done but only when it's all done. Now, interestingly, they've still got this fort build running. I don't know if they're even gonna finish it. BLN's already flagged here, so it's kind of whatever. The old one troop fort builds. IDN over here. This is, um, yeah, 1945 coming into the zone. Cool, that'll get interesting. This is, this is gonna be interesting. 
And then, oh my god, bro. The fort's over here. Can you believe 1302 actually did this? Can you believe it? It's hard to believe. But they've actually done it. They, they've got cities in. It's not as many cities as they'd probably like. But they've got cities here, man. They'll, they'll be here for the freaking pass opening. This is going to be crazy. Yeah, they'll, they can take the pass. Absolutely. The thing is that 846 will have to commit field to taking the pass. But if 846 commits field to this pass, that means they're not committing field to this pass. So that's a disadvantage to them there. So, I mean, even if 1302 doesn't grab the pass, they're still committing huge value to the board. Should you have rice or pasta? I mean, it depends on what else you're having, but I'd probably say pasta. If you were making fried rice with some leftovers, that'd be a different story. Then we could talk. Machete be crazy? Do you mean Makote? Makote do be crazy. What do you think of the 2891 big migration? Dude, I think it's going to be an awesome kingdom. I think those guys are in great shape. I think they got good leadership. Nothing but positive things to say. There it is. Here we go. Hello? All right, hold on. Maybe. Oh, here it is. Oh, I will. Dude, where's the button? Bro, where are all the buttons? Bro, I did not spin this already. I'm going to restart. It thinks I've spun this. All right, chat. Let's, let's restart. Spin, baby, spin. I, it's less important that I spin. It's more important that you spin. Yeah. We restart. Chat says Lamau. Yeah, I know, man. Just appeared Lamau. We restart. Hey. Three eight spots and you're done spinning already? That's efficient, bro. All right, well, now you max the commander. <laughs> that was fast, bro. Jeez. All right. Justin's now maxing the old Z huge. While, while he maxes Z huge, we'll just do this real quick. Get in the practice. Eh, it's got three minutes before it even opens the gates anyways. Alright, we get this done. By the way, remember that any healing you do is now eating at your helps. So, mindful of your hospitals now. I don't even look at my travels anymore, chat. Like, I literally just push the button, and then when I get this stupid dialogue, I'm like, duh, 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 I like, little, just mash my hand on the screen to try to tap faster. It's actually less of a mash and more of like a one of these, you know? Trying to push the buttons as fast as I can. As fast as it will possibly register taps to just get me through the stinking dialogues. Just was taking a sweet time. Well, remember, the first three minutes, you can't go anywhere anyways. In the practice match. Max level 60. Don't forget to set talents before you enter. It should be skill tree, by the way, mostly. That's, that's the jam. Skill tree, not archer tree. It's, um... You go all the way to the top of the skill tree. You get the extra skill damage in the right-hand side of the archer tree. The extra rage gen and a little bit of attack. Um. All right, all right, all right. Uh, cool, 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 cool. We're good to enter, man. All right, we enter the practice match. Spin the wheel. We'll definitely spin the wheel. By the way, I think my restart kingdom is doing another practice match at one UTC. So. 
We should get plenty of gameplay here. Ichi, thank you for the super chat, dude. Actually, it's not a super, it's a gifted membership. Yo, Noble Bright, grats on the gifted membership. Let's go. Oh my God, it's the new Ark of Osiris. Bro, it's the new Ark. I can't see anything. I'm blind. Uh, skill. Skill issue on my part. Ginger Snowman, thank you for the 12 months. If first SOC and only have E Song Max, who to get next? Zug. The old Z Huge. Yeah, you get Z Huge. Yeah, I am going to spin the wheel, but amazingly. Yoda's already got his spins done. He already maxed the commander. He already took it to 60. He already put on his talents. So we're going to test. Dude, it's so dark in here. I can't see anything. Huh? Uh, there's going to be two forms of arc. One will have the fog. What do you think of the fog? I think fog of war is good, bro. Like, I can't see where you are. That's a good thing. That's a good thing. Yeah. I mean, like, I don't know what you're doing, and that's cool. I'm coming to the obelisk. Bro, don't take my altar. What? Oh, we got to see the animation, too. Apparently, the animation is completely insane. Ichi, thank you for the five gifted. Yo, let's get those hype emojis for Ichi. Yo. Z Huge has circle AoE. There it is. Zugliang's got the circle. Uh, that's 27 new members this stream. Let's freaking go. Alright, so you'll pour it in, then I'll pour it in, and then we'll have a party. Fog is lit. I, actually, I think it's a good thing. I really do. Uh, I think this completely flips the dynamic. It's such a dumb, simple thing. But it completely flips the dynamic. 60 spins for 10 heads. Bit of a yikes. You couldn't possibly have gotten 10 heads. 10 heads on 60 spins. Plus the... Plus the heads you get for, um... You know, the guaranteed tiered stuff, right? That's not amazing, though. Not gonna lie. Forge of Light in COD has Dragon Scale Armor. I thought that it would. I, I kind of anticipated that. 25 total? Okay. I, I think I've gotten as low as 24 or 26 in the past. I'm pretty sure I had a contest with Dragothian, and he got 28 and I got 24. I lost. So I bought a hoodie of, from his shop and gave it to one of my viewers. That was the prize. If I won, he'd have to buy my hoodie, give it to one of his members. If he won, I'd have to buy his hoodie, give it to one of my members. Kind of a cool contest, honestly. Dude, that's actually kind of funny. Let me get out of vision again. Yeah, I'm out of vision. Yo, that's... I feel like the, that could be a little flawed. Very interesting information. Is the radius as big as Esong? We'll find out in just a second, chat. Yo, boat's animation has nothing on this one. Yeah, I mean, apparently this animation just eats up the whole battlefield. It's kind of nuts. Well, now we're just waiting. Dude, those armaments I got were like kind of awesome because they're upgrades, but also disappointing at the same time. It's weird how it works that way. How can you be both excited and disappointed at the same time? Oh my god, I got banned from emojis. I did too many. Son of a gun.
Just cool, I have 146 gold heads. I have a 5-5-3-1 Boudica and an Expertise E-Song. No Nevsky, Boudica, Skippy, or Joan. What should I do? You go for Zug. Uh, I don't know. Honestly, you might not go for Zug. If you actually don't have Skippy Prime or Nevsky or Joan, you kind of got to do one of them. Like, like you're, uh, you can exit now. Poor, poor. What? Oh, I didn't see. I wasn't paying attention. I'm Fog of Ward. Where's your city? Did you port? Oh my god. Fog is crazy, bro. Fog is crazy, bro. This is actually going to be really good for this game mode. That That's so good. That's so good. I mean, it's basically a MOBA already, bro. Hey, big shout out to... To all my renewing members, by the way. Look how many members have had their membership renew at reset. Dude, I love that. That's crazy. It's still going. Oh, my God. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, wards. They have wards, I think. It, uh, I think it costs zero when you can drop a ward. Yeah, I think there are actually wards. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it's basically low-key league, bro. It's, it's... Uh, well, we didn't put the skill on the bar. Yeah. Skill's not on the bar. No. Justin's already using equipment. This is no equipment testing. As soon as I pour it in, we test. So, uh, what should we use, by the way? What, you should use... What, what do we think is the best combo? Zug plus who? You're gonna do Zug with who? Oh, Boudica Zug? Alright. That's gonna be wicked, man. For dueling? Jesus. Um, do you mind moving your march so I can port to your left? Thank you, thank you, thank you. I've been trying to be more cognizant of this when I make a testing video. When I later edit it in, and I'm showing, like, the report and the battling happening, it's nice if, like, my city and my march and my report are on the left, and then the po opponent's is on the right, you know? It's the little touches, Chad. It's the little touches. Oh, uh, I guess I go here-ish. This is fine. All right, send this back to my city. All right, uh, let's start with the old Nevsky Joan. Give me a second here to hit record. There we go. You can't even see my city do this crazy. Let me, give me a second to just shut off these notifications. Dude, there's so many people renewing at Risa. That's crazy. All right, here we go. Today's live stream, at least this portion of it, is sponsored by the makers of Rise of Kingdoms, and we're testing expertise Zugliang. Here we go, baby. Boudica Zugliang, big shout out to Yoda808, who expertised him on the spot. What the hell's going on? Dude, why is your march all lit up? Uh. Uh. Uh, you know what that circle is, right? I know what it is. I have a guess. My, that's your marquee. Yeah. <laughs> well, if you wanted to see what was happening on the battlefield, forget it. Because Zugliang has covered the damn thing in arrows. Wow. Also, you just... Really clap my cheeks here, bro. Go, Nevsky. Yeah, uh, rip Nevsky's more like it. Then we fight in the shade. <laughs> yeah. Dude. They cover the sky with arrows, so we'll fight in the shade. That is brutal. That is brutal. 
Yeah, let's just do each one three times. Let me look at the report, though, real quick. 28 to 25. Archers countering cavalry. This is fine. All right, here we go. Round two. Fight. Oh, my God, bro. That's nuts. I'm using Germany, and he's using Ottoman. I still have to decide what civilization I'm going to use to rally. The thing is that I also swarm stuff. So the debate... And I field fight. So the debate is like, do I go Egypt? Or do I just go Ottoman? Wait, it's a circle skill? Yeah, it's circle skill, bro. You thought calves were supposed to beat archers? Yeah, not these archers. He's cracked? Yeah, it's pretty mental, bro. The new Nevsky? Honestly, it's more like the new Skippy Prime. The only thing it's missing is... The only thing it's missing is March Speed. Yeah, technically it's the new E-Song. But like in terms of, you know, how they rank by power. Like, like tier list. Like I would say Skippy Prime is like your best fielder in the game. One more time, just so that it, you know, we can say like, yeah, it's not completely random these results, right? Here we go. That marquee is a hell of a glow, bro. Yeah, I like the glow. We can look at that report real quick. Oh, basically the same thing. I love the consistency. All right, we got two reports looking nearly the same. So that's... That's good. Let's recap. I'm late, sorry. Uh, recap is Zug greater than all. So, I mean, do, does it even... Do I even need to bring out infantry and archers? Like, I guess I will for completeness sake, and we have 43 minutes. But, like, damn. I would like to start to see things like Zug Nebu or Nebu Zug. Yeah. We can try the other troop types. Um, chat says... No, I think that has to be the single strongest archer march for sure. Guan Skippy? This is gonna be a joke, bro. This is, this is actually just gonna be a joke. Dude, look at the normal attack numbers. It's like 2 to 1 already. Oh my god. Bro. You're winning two to one on the white numbers, bro. That's pretty bad. That's pretty bad. We don't need to run that again. We'll just let that rest in the grave. Chat, is Zuglian good? Is that is that good? Now, okay, we want to have a real infantry comparison. You can't use Guan anymore. You knew that, though. I didn't have to tell you that. You actually have to use Skippy Sargon, and then we can talk. Okay, so let, let me bring Skippy Sargon, and then we can have a real conversation about infantry. Here we go. Still getting wrecked. Uh, not quite anymore. The white number's evened out. Is 5551 good? Yes. No equipment? That's correct. No equipment. This is just vanilla. 
We wanted to test many different combos and see. By the way, if you're enjoying the live stream, do me the honor of throwing a like on the video. It's 100% free to play to do and supports the channel tremendously. And consider subscribing for daily Rise of Kingdoms videos designed to help you get value and smash your enemies. Pass opening for our huge fight is tomorrow. You're not going to want to miss it. I will be streaming for the next probably two weeks fighting against 846 and 365. It's going to be crazy. Um, but you still shredded, bro. The, this is... The, and that's what I would expect, right? If you think about how old Guan is as a commander and what his real value is, it's his AoE silence, right? Which in a duel is not represented at all. So when you take the two newest generation of fielding infantry commanders, pair them together, this result is a lot more reasonable. And you'd kind of expect this. Like, you'd kind of expect archers to win by about that much. Like, that's actually reasonable. Especially, especially because you have a, a Civ boost and that I don't have with infantry right now. So I'll run that again just for, you know, completionist sake. And we could also try a Tata Gibbon Ziad, but I think that'll just be worse. I mean, Sargon is already the proven sort of king of duels here. So let's give that a shot. And while that's happening, I'm going to go look at the report. We're looking at... Uh, I mean, you still kind of... You still kind of shredded me. 33,600 to 25,800. Bit of a yikes. 41,500 to 17,000? For the Guan Skippy? Is that even legal? Shield your eyes. What? Bro, what? Yo, Omniarch made a thumbnail that was like, Rip Nevsky? No, 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 no. Rip Guan is what, where it's at, boys and girls. Rip Guan is where it's at. That was a good video Omniarch made, by the way. But Rip Guan is where it's at, chat. Woo-hoo-hoo-hoo! -hoo -hoo! That's bad. Slash popcorn, baby. Slash popcorn, baby. All right. All hail your new overlord. It, it's it's Zhu Liang. He's your rally. He's your garrison. He's your city defense. I actually think I would use him potentially. Dude, would I use Zhu Liang or would I use... Um. You, oh yeah, I can do Boudicca Yizong, sure. You want Honda or you want Yizong? Alright. Yeehaw. How strong is Yoda's power? 1.8 billion. You know, it's whatever. It's whatever. A ask what what our power is after this KVK. That, that'll get interesting. Is he good? He's cracked. Although this is interesting. YSG looking pretty decent up in here. Yo, hey, E song represents. How are you supposed to see the battlefield with the freaking Zugliang arrows? Like, you actually can't even see the battlefield. I, I like, I don't, how are you supposed to play in a murder ball with that AoE on the ground? I don't know. Um, let me run that one more time for completionist sake, and then we can do Boudicca Arty. Esong is the gift that keeps on giving. It's beautiful, though. It's beautiful now, but when you see, like, 
50 to 100 of it on the screen at a time, it's going to get hectic. Budik Isong, 31 to 21. A brutal exchange in favor of the Budika Zugliang. Uh, I think Z... Yes, I think Zugliang is going to work in the garrison. I think Zugliang is going to work for a rally. Um, so what I was going to ask is, do you think that Heraclius is a better secondary for defending my city or Zugliang? Um, I mean, God, you think... Uh, <laughs> I'm going to use the Flavius primary in this KVK because of auxiliary skills. Yeah, well, I have to, because of auxiliary skills. It's crazy, bro. That's crazy. All right, well, um... Wow, what? Literally, like, the same result almost exactly. Okay. Delta of 400 troops. Same result. Uh, Artemisia now, yeah? Artemisia, huh? Dude, where are you, girl? There you are. Yeah, you could. I mean, uh, what else do we need to test here while you have Boudicca Zugliang? I, I could do Boudicca Honda if we wanted to check that real quick. Oh my god, you're just doing so much damage. It's crazy. Yeah, maybe. Correct. Oh, I mean, between Boudicca and Zugliang, yeah, you have two opportunities to resist a debuff. I mean, you have an 80% chance to shrug it off, and then you have a 50% chance to shrug it off, I mean. Um, hey, by the way, thank you for the super chats. I really appreciate it. Monkey D. Joe, my infantry are already crying. True. And HMB Boats, can we see some Zoog with Esong? Curious about the range? Sure, we could do that. Let's do... Uh... Yeah, let me do one more, and then let's do... Then, then we could do Zoog Esong. That result was almost exactly... The Artemisia was almost exactly the same as the Esong, bro. In terms of the result. Alright, here we go. Honda Tadakatsu! Dude, even with my 30% reduction of normal attack damage, we're still going even. You just did 30,000 damage. That's 15 and 15 again with active skills. That's gross. Bro. Wait, what ta- Oh, it's Boudicca. You have the archer tree? Full archer. Oh. Okay. Sure. Yeah. Sure. Well... Dude, is, does Honda just get benched at this point? Like, what is Honda... Why is he even in the game anymore? Oh my god. I mean, the E-Song and the Artemisia did better for sure. This is not even close. That That's that's a, that's a, a tragedy. 33,619. It's worse than the E-Song and the, and the Artie for sure. It's crazy. Okay. Chat wants to see me use XY. Um, I just don't think that changes anything. I think Nevsky Joan is just better. Yeah, so yeah, try the Zoo Gee song. That's what you got. Okay, let's try that. Here we go, chat. Here we go. Oh boy. Chat wants to see a 5v5 murder ball. Um, did you take all your equipment off and all your 
No? Okay, okay. I don't think we 5v5 chat. No 5v5. Zugi song, when you have to stand there and fight, does just fine. But not as good as the Budokai, I think. Oh, it's gonna lose! The first time it loses, literally, is with Zugi song. Yeah, because Boudica is insane. Everybody undervalues how good Boudica is because she doesn't have area of effect damage. And she's like not as cracked as Nevsky, obviously, but she's good, bro. She's good. But this is still a fine outcome. The problem is you don't have any march speed. Here, here's the deal. If you're in Orleans KVK right now and you want to use Zugliang with Yisong, you can do it. But you need to use the second skill of... You can bring the same thing. I'll bring infantry. You need to use the second skill of Edward of Woodstock as your auxiliary skill. And you need to use the third skill of El Cid as your auxiliary skill. And then you've got... That, that would give you 45% march speed. Then you're good to go. So I actually think you could use this combo in... Oh, there he is. This... Oh my god, I picked him as the secondary FML. In this version of KVK only. But otherwise, you're too slow. I just don't think you can do it. All right. Let's uh, put some Fs in the chat for these infantry, baby. Here we go. This assumes you have skills on Edward. Yeah, I mean, and you probably wouldn't. Try Cyrus. You want uh, Zugliang Cyrus? Oh my god, this is not even legal what you're doing to my march right now. Yoda's 1.8 billion power. 1.8 billion power. I guess you could use Cyrus' second skill, if that's what you're saying. For the 30% attack and 15% march speed, that'd be reasonable. Try Nevsky Minamoto. That's a good idea, actually. I'll try Nevsky Mina. I think so. Yeah, you should, you should go back to that and let's try it. I think we'll get the win. But, you know, Zug is offering pretty good utility. But so is Minamoto, and, I mean... Updated priority list. I have so many videos to make, chat. And the tragic reality, but also exciting reality of my next two weeks is that pretty much every waking moment is going to be fighting in this KVK. So if you're like, oh, I want this information or that information, I got great news for you. I mean, just tune into the live streams and you will see top kingdoms in the game duking it out with these commanders, whether it's rallying or garrisoning or fielding. You got questions about Zugliang, you'll see them tested for real here. It, and, it, and it all starts in less than 24 hours. It's less than 18 hours. I was going to say less than 12 hours, but it's actually not. Really? Am I getting wrecked? Um, how do you feel about swapping in Cyrus? You think he should be primary or secondary? I would... Cyrus does damage over time, but Zug does not. No. Oh, yeah. So, yeah, Cyrus only enhances damage over time, and Zug doesn't do that. Yeah. Yeah, Zug primary. Makes sense. Is this max Zug? Yes, it is. Can you imagine if this was not maxed, Zug? That would be like the Attila Takeda days levels of insane. Uh, what were we going to test? Oh, yeah, Cyrus. All right, I'll bring Cavs. You bring Cyrus. Let me look at the report before you swing in real quick. 
Uh, 28 to 22. We still lost with the Minamoto. Skippy Sargon, 31 6 to 24 8. Get wrecked. 27 5 to 29. Oh, we won with the Nevsky Joan. GG. All right. Hen, thank you for the two months. What's the best Zugliang pair for Warriors Unbound? Remind me of the key mechanic in Warriors Unbound. There's no support skills, is there? I mean, the best single pair is going to be Boudicca Zugliang. If you use two... Ooh. Yeah, because Cyrus just does too little. He does too little active skill damage. I don't know what they were thinking when they put... What is it? 1,400 damage factor on his active? Like, he's missing, like, 500 active skill damage to be relevant these days. I like Cyrus, but I'm using his third skill as an auxiliary skill on this KVK. Henry would be stronger than Cyrus. You're correct, I think. Yeah, why don't we try Henry? That's a good idea. Uh, I think... I don't know. I kind of like Henry Primary. And there's definitely advantages to having the Zoog Primary. It's more damage this way. Ooh, who's gonna win? Ooh, yeah. I think if you run Henry Primary, you win. Yeah. Oh, are you, are you going to win? Anyways. Yeah, we can do a Henry primary in just a second. Zug Liang with Artemisia? I mean, I wouldn't recommend them together. That's no March speed. And the shrug off probability is kind of low for, you know, compared to the Boudicca. Guan Museum buff will be disgustingly good one day? Maybe. Zugi Song is the god of circle AoE effects? No, it, it is. I just don't think you have enough march speed to actually use it. Only in this version of KVK could you try it, and you would need to use both auxiliary skills that give march speed. And then I think it's actually super legit and super reasonable. All right, now you got Henry primary. I know it is Henry, but it looks like freaking Saladin. That looks like a helmet, not hair. Is it? I don't know. I wasn't paying enough attention. Chat, what do you think? Is Henry primary worse or better? How's this going? It's like about the same. Chat, if you're enjoying this live stream, do me the honor of throwing a like on the stream. We got like 400 likes on the stream, but 2,600 people watching. I appreciate you, each and every one of you that's watching the stream. Thank you for being here. Sargon Skippy beats Boudicca Z Huge. Maybe sometimes. I mean, we tried Skippy Sargon, and that didn't work. Maybe the may, do, maybe the skill tree is better. God, I remember people really hated on the freaking skill tree, and then it turns out that's actually the best tree. People were like, oh, wait a minute. Actually, it's just better. Uh, So 22,000, almost 23 to 28, practically. And this is 22 to 20. Yeah, so the Henry was better. Henry primary. Ooh, Zug Neb. Okay, let's go. Let's go.
Yeah. This is the combo I plan to use right here. <laughs> well, because think about it. I'm going to use Boudica Artemisia probably or Boudica Esong, right? And so then what's my other pair going to be? I mean, Nebu plus Z Zug, right? Like, that's it. So is Zug Liang prioritized over Nevsky? Ooh. What do you think? Yes for most people? Wow. Nevsky does excel with the 1v1. Chat says Ramsey's is better. Bro, I don't know about that. Bring out bring out the Ramses. Bring out the Ramses. Same thing. Let's do the Ramses. I mean, we got 20 minutes. We could test. Whoa, why primary? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Defense reduction. Sure. Thanks to the T. Oh, we got a little visitor to the live stream. The little kiddo. The little kiddo is here. She smells like she needs a diaper change. Oh, okay. <laughs> you want to do this stream and I do the diaper change, huh? All right, let me hand this kid back. All right, we say goodnight to the little kiddo. <laughs> tiny chess school. Dude, she she is like a little tiny chess school. Let's freaking go. Uh, yes, the Ramses did not win. I did hear that someone tried to take my identity in some other kingdom. I don't know, man. Support will probably reset their name and picture soon enough. 24,000 to 29,000 versus the Nebu. 22,000 to 31,000. All right. All right. Ramses is hanging. Ramses is hanging. Technically better. But, you know, in an actual murder ball, you want the area of effect damage. Uh, what are you doing now? Oh, secret tech. Okay, poggers. Caesar, I hate you. Okay. Okay. Julius Caesar, everybody. Zuglang Caesar. Wouldn't you want to do them in the other order? Boost your attack and defense. Oh, you don't have the talents. Okay. GG. Maybe. What? You got it. What? No one saw that, he says. Dude, you Caesar was just getting to the good part where he starts reducing the damage taken by even more, below 60%. That was the good part. All right, here we go. Would you bring this time? <laughs> oh god. Who's the secondary? Tommy, I knew it. I guess I should have known from the stacks I was getting. I would think it'd be pretty bad. Like you're never going to get enough stacks, which means your active skills are not doing enough damage, which means like in a group fight maybe you'd call it value, but probably not. I am not the king of 2922. It's an imposter. They were even dumb enough to message me. And be like, are you the real chess school? And I was like, yeah, okay. Okay. 
Support will take care of that soon enough, buddy. Dude, that was pretty bad. What even was that? Oh my god. 18 to 31,000. So it's not indestructible. You, this time you brought Honda. That's a good idea. Did you bring Honda? Did you? Did you? Oh, Artemisia. Okay. Uh, a monitory, a monitory, a monitory. Other lady archer, other lady archer. You gotta run it down for the test result, baby. It's not that bad. It's not that bad. Uh, maybe it is. All right, mind the spam in the chat, please. We got almost 2,600 people watching. If you're enjoying the stream, do me a favor, throw a like on here, consider subscribing. Bentley Dog, thank you for the super chat. Zugay, 5551, 5515, or 5155. Uh, I'd say probably 5551. Five, Max the first three skills. Oh, okay. Moderator jumped in. GG, too much spam. Mind the spam. Thou shalt be moderated if you spam. GG. Yeah, Honda's an interesting idea. Yeah, I mean, I don't think it's going to be good. But it does have March speed, which it needs. Wendell, thank you for the super. Try Sargon Skippy. Sure, we did do that earlier. So if you want to scrub backwards in the stream, you can see it. But I can bring it out again. I can do the Sargon primary this time. Maybe that'll be better. Can I show the Zug Liang talent tree? Uh, yeah, sure. I showed it in my other Zug Liang video, but you basically get all the critical talents in the skill tree. You get the, what is it? Like scorpion something or other for the bonus skill damage. You get the extra rage gen in the archer tree. You get some extra attack on the left-hand side of the tree. I'll show you it in just a second. Do you want you skip easy, Zugliang? No, that's silly. That's silly. Uh, the Honda was not terrible, but it wasn't wasn't best. wasn't meta. Yeah. Yeah. Let's do that. Bring the booty. It's pretty uncontroversial that Boudicca would be the best pair. Zug Ramsey. I wouldn't do them in that order, though, because you want to reduce the enemy's defense and then hit him with the big skill damage from Zug Liang. Skippy Zug for Warriors Unbound. Oh, yeah, you could make it any other troop type. Right. Right. Hey, Orly Rommel. Thank you for the super chat, dude. Yeah, so, so did you, you heard about Warriors Unbound KVK, right? So in Warriors Unbound, they give you an artifact that you put onto your secondary commander. And it makes it so that everywhere it says one kind of troop type, it acts as another kind of troop type. So if the skill said bonus to archers, you could make it bonus to infantry for all their skills. That's Warriors Unbound. No, I think there was another pair that beat Buddha Kazoog. There was something that beat it, I thought. No. Also, I don't know that this is going to win. Dude, it's all about the rage gen. Honestly. Oh, we lost. GG. Didn't win. It's close. Wow. 
What? Pear almost won. Oh god, it wasn't Guan, tell you that much. Uh no, I guess it always lost, and I'm just making it up. Only only when you switched to E Song did I get a win. Yeah, yeah. Eleven minutes left. What are we doing? XY Nevsky? Alright. Sure, I'll bite. Crazy. By the way, the testing is not done. When this practice match ends, I think my Restart Kingdom is doing a practice match at 1 UTC, which is in 10 minutes. So we'll do more testing. I don't know if they want to do, like, rally testing, garrison testing. But I think... I can check Discord and see if they confirmed. I think they're doing 1 UTC instead of 0 UTC. I set one up. Okay, so I think they're doing one. So we get to do more testing. Uh, Sasuke says, I have him 5511. We can test that. Yeah, we can test it on Max to uh, Zugliang and see how it does. When's the man even going to do his wheel? Uh, I mean, I guess I could do it before we switch over to my restart. It's funny because a lot of people are like, man, I really want to see what you get from the wheel. And like... I don't know, man. I've just been doing Wheel of Fortune for, like, four years now. So, like, what am I going to get? Uh, somewhere between 20 and 30 sculptures. Whatever. XY still not benched. I think XY is fine. I'm using him in the festivities tomorrow. XY William is what you use, man. That's, that's it. All right, what other archer combos could you try? All right, try it. Yeehaw! Here we go. Zoogling with Artemisia, chat. Artemisia. You requested it, and here it is. Big shout out to Yoto808 for testing with us today and for expertising. I appreciate it. Will Zug Liang work for rallies? Yeah, he's meta. Will he work for garrisons? Yeah, he's meta. Sure. I mean. Yeah, 50 50. You're good at those coin tosses, bro. Oh, yep. Once you get silenced, the whole thing flips around. Uh, we did try Tommy. It was terrible. We did try Ram. It was okay. Will it be better than Alex E song? Yes. Absolutely. Uh probably not. Probably not. We did try Henry. We did try Cyrus. Yep. We didn't try Gilga. You wanna do Gilga? Alright, oh first secret attack. You got Mehmed here. Who's that? What do we got here? Edward of Woodstock! Bro. No shot. Please don't let me lose to Edward of Woodstock. After this, we do Gilga. Can you try Footmos? Do you have Footmos? And he's maxed? Every archer maxed. Of course you do. Yeah, no, let's do uh, Footmos now, after this. And then Mephmed. Yeah, yeah, we should do Mephmed. We got time. Try them all, man. Let's try them all. Fear the banana, chat says. Uh, eh, that didn't work well for banana. Why not Nebu? No, I mean, I'm going to use Nebu with Zugliang for sure, 100%. No questions asked. 
We did test it a little bit earlier. But you... Was that Thutmose or Ramses? I guess they look almost the same. It's Thutmose? Oh, yeah, it is. Just kidding. Just cool needs glasses. <laughs> Looking at Thutmose? Basically never. Never really have occasion to see Thutmose on the field. It didn't do terrible, but it's going to lose. You have double relic on Thutmos? Yeah? Okay. So that's a double relic Thutmos. It's not terrible, but it ain't better than what's happening. And the other combos we ran. Nevsky William? Uh, it's not going to be better than Nevsky Joan. I guess it reduces skill damage boosts. El Cid. Ooh. And then after El Cid, we do Meth Mad Man. I'm curious for that one. Double Relic on Meth Mad is kind of crazy, bro. It's a lot of skill damage. And it's a and it's a lot of health. We gotta do El Cid and we gotta do Gilga. You you might win here. Yeah, because now you get 50 what is it, 20 25% all damage now? Yeah. You kicking a high gear. Nah, you're not gonna win. Double relics, still not enough. Oh, uh, we did try a Ramsey secondary earlier in this. Oh, uh, we didn't try Ramsey secondary, we used him primary. Yeah, we did Thutmose, like, literally 60 seconds ago. We did Caesar, and it was so bad that Yoda literally pulled to, into a city mid-duel. Sal no, I don't Saladin's not as good. Saladin's just not as good. Plus, I don't have him double relic, which would be sort of like a starting point for the conversation. He's still not as good. We already tested Cyrus. Ragnar? Nah. Ragnar's kind of worse Caesar. We'll see this meth mad, though. That could actually be good. Make sure you brought extra troops, right? So you got 250? Yeah, okay. This could be interesting. Tommy did really bad. Yeah, it was really bad. See, I told you Mehmet was going to be good, bro. Might even be better than Honda at this point. I don't know. Once they made Double Relic, Mehmet, it was, Honda was like a big WTF. Yeah, it did about the same. Which would be like, why would you put sculptures in a Honda when you can just use Mehmed? <laughs> yeah, he had a short run, bro. Honda had a really short run. Two to three KVKs and they made him irrelevant. Sure enough. I mean, I might still use him in this pass opening, but... Have you done Zug Liang and Honda? Yeah, we did. It was not impressive. We have time for one more. Dealer's choice. Martel, Zug Liang? I would not do that. Oh, yeah. You brought out Gilga? Yeah, dude. Zug... Hey, there's Gilga in here. Here comes Gilga, chat. I think Gogo will be okay. He's kind of like low damage factor, all things considered. Yeah, that does not look as good. Gilga not looking for the win here, chat. Very, very bad. 
But once you get me below 50%, you'll start dealing 20% more damage, but... By that point, you've already lost. We did a Ramsey's primary earlier, but no Ramsey's secondary. Yeah, we, you you want to squeeze in a little Ramsey's secondary? All right, we try to squeeze it in. I'm working on it. All right, Ramsey's secondary. Hopefully we get the report. We'll see. Yeah. The problem is that Ramsey's actually really tanky, so we may not get this report. Now it's a race against the clock, Chad. It's a race against the clock. By the way, if you're enjoying this live stream, do me the honor of throwing a like on the stream. I appreciate you. Thank you so much for your support. I always test the new commanders when they drop in game, so subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, so you don't miss out on the next commander test. Ooh. Yeah, I think primary and secondary performed about the same. Pulling. You didn't even get into the city, GG. No report found. Yeah. Okay. Very cool. Now we have another practice match to go to, chat. We go to the restart account. And we're testing 5511 Zugliang. This was no gear testing today. Because we wanted to try so many different combinations and mixes of primary and secondary um let me just do one thing before i flip over to my restart and we go into that practice match just put the armaments back on my commanders so i'm not fighting tomorrow with no armaments lol is zugliang all that all that absolutely he 100% delivered at exactly the level of punch and overpoweredness that we thought he would be. Zugliang is insane. He's insanely strong. Would you say he is the new sort of like number one invest in the game? Like do this before you do anything else? Compared to Skippy Prime, compared to Nevsky. You'd say yes? Wow. So this is your new number one invest commander, potentially, is Zugliang. Because it'll work for Rally and Garrison too, right? Like, why not? He literally does it all for you. That's actually nuts. Number one gangsta robot, chat says. Yeah. But he's crazy. All right, now we got our gear and armaments back on. Awesome. Awesome, awesome. Oh, no gear. GG. Okay. Good. 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 Garrison, good. 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 Let's go to the restart account, chat. And on the restart account, we can do... Some 5511 testing and see what happens. All right, I'm going to pop over to that voice chat, but I really appreciate you making the time to test with me, man. Thank you so much. Catch you later. I'll be on voice later tonight to uh, prep for the festivities tomorrow. Catch you later. All right.
Okay, here we are on the restart account. Hey, what's up, dude? How's it going? Going well. Uh, don't forget to ever move gear. Right, so... Just looking at who's in the practice match. Are we on separate teams? My blue? I'm blue. Okay, cool. Uh, gear and armaments off. Did you also take off your armaments? I can't hear you, but I'm assuming it's a yes. Gear comes off, chat. Armaments come off. And we can do yet another test session, this time with a 5-5-1-1, which I think is going to be really good still. Okay. Cool. Confirming. Juan is clean. Nevsky's clean. Skippy's clean. Boudica is clean. Sargon is clean. I mean, Esong. Whatever, sure. Esong's clean. I'm not gonna use him, but. Uh, okay. We enter the practice match. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Good thing I stopped myself. City theme comes off. Um, don't forget I am the IP18, so they can like level out the playing field. Hmm. Alright. So you're VIP 18, that's good to know. Yeah, so uh, I'll do 210. I'm gonna I drop commander tab on the things I'm not gonna use. Alright. Uh, cool, 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 cool. Oh my god, I just keep shifting them around. It's good enough for now. All right. Uh, oh, I'm in the pit. GG, let me run that home. Gives me a second to do these armaments. Andy, thank you for the super chat, dude. I appreciate you. Make sure you have the same armament configuration. Yeah, I mean, it, as long as we're... It's all echelon, it's all irrelevant. He has circular AoE. Yeah, even if he's not maxed, I think it's circle AoE. He's kind of nuts. It might be worth it to do the march speed, honestly. Just good. March is there faster for testing. Uh, mm. Try Cyrus. Yeah, we tried it and it was pretty lackluster. I think the cult of Cyrus those days have ended. A 1111 circle AoE. That is definitely nice. Ramsey's secondary. We tried that as well. It's fine, but not amazing. It performed almost as well as the Nebu, except Nebu was doing area of effect damage, so... You know which is preferable here. I don't think Cyrus primary makes a difference. He makes the target take additional damage over time effects, but Zugliang doesn't do any damage over time effects. Okay. As soon as my march gets home, which I think it did... We're done with this. We enter the practice match. We're home. We're in. Here we go. We're testing him now at 5511. So now you'll get to see him unmaxed. What? Do I not? Oh, there it is. I was like, do I not have a freaking rune gathering configuration? But I do. But I do. Are you marching up to my obelisk? Or should I head to you? 
I just grabbed the bottom. I think it makes sense if you march up to the top one. Yeah, I'll do that. Because I still have another minute before I get there, even. Yeah. Oh, I seem so slow. Why am I so slow? I have two minutes before I get there. What the hell's going on? Why am I so slow? Oh, I'm only level 45? Bro. Uh, that's... I'm missing some march speed over here. What's going on? It's only a little bit of march speed that I'm missing, but still. Mm, can't use it in the battleground. GG. So, what archers do you have, by the way? So, I have Budica YSG on the... I got, uh, Z I'm not even going ZL to 5511, level 60. I use Tommy 5155. Okay. And El Cid is 5554, and then the Epics. So All figured, right. I say we up. stick to the legendaries, and we just try yeah. them out with the 5511. What skill level is my Constantine? Oh, on this account? It's terrible. I haven't worked on it really at all. Five one with fifty five sculptures. I mean, I might oh, use I a forget. canyon, but hey, uh, just a heads up, I completely forgot they removed armaments for this. That's why March speed is so slow. They removed what? They removed the armament. If you look in your commander tab, it doesn't show any armament. In the in the practice match because they set up practice matches to mirror OL which starts next week. Ah. So practice now matches Osiris League. I thought it was kind of fishy that everything was in line formation or old old school no formation actually is what it is. Okay, that makes sense though. All right, cool. No armaments anymore in practice matches. Crazy. Can you try Edward? We did. Edward secondary was fully inadequate. And you wouldn't want to use Edward primary with such a high skill damage AoE commander. <laughs> like, you want those skills firing faster, not slower. So, the testing we're going to do today, we have... 5511 Zugliang. And then there is Expertise Boudica, Expertise Esong. Uh, you said Expertise Nebu? Uh, Nebu is fine. So no Nebu, okay. No Nebu. What was the other archer you said you had? Or is it just Boudica and Esong? Boudica, Esong, and Honda. Honda! There it is. All right, Honda. Cool, cool, cool. Where is he? I met. Oh, there he is. <laughs> I'm going to just turn your volume up a little bit on my end. Chat, if you're enjoying the stream, do me a favor, throw a like on here, consider subscribing. I poured in in a minute and 15 seconds. Then Sasuke takes this thing and he'll pour it in and we'll do some 5511 testing. You still think Cyrus Zugliang would be interesting in a murder ball? I just think you've got better options at this point. Um, after the testing, by the way, we'll spin the wheel on my restart and we'll spin the wheel on my main. Why Honda? Well, these days, why indeed? But, you know, once upon a time, Honda was actually meta. Can you believe it? You fit. You finished your Honda recently, didn't you? Uh, right before last KVK. Yeah, I mean he's still good. It's just he's not a cut well, above also, like he was for a little while. I also run five inf marches, so. Oh well, okay. With five infantry marches, you probably want to use that. Hey, are you using an attack or a defense token? I have no token. Ah, um, okay. I can get rid of my token. The old anti-scout. No, no, no. I got rid of it. I used an anti-scout. Right. Now I have no token. All right. 
she was All right. reporting. I, will I take am it. teleporting. I have teleported. You can take it. All right. Yeah, March speed is not something uh, he is known for. Can confirm. <laughs> can confirm. So, what will we test? I mean, I guess I can use... You'll have to change your preset to be 210,000 troops because you're VIP 18 right, and yeah. I'm not. Yeah, I'll set that up. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, I probably... I don't know, do I use Skippy? Skippy Sargon? Sargon Skippy? Yeah. Probably use that. CJ, because of all the skills. We can mess around with CJ a little bit. We can do uh, Sargon CJ. It's pretty powerful. He does not have Nebu, but he's got... Budica, he's got Esong, he's got Honda, so we got options. And he's gonna uh, use a 5511 Zublion. If we want, um, Nebu, I have that 5511 just to see, like, okay, what's the bare minimum? See how bare minimum goes? Uh, uh, I don't think we need to. Alright. Use the CJ doing... chat says. I don't think there's any value to my using Ethel. Emotap? Nah. <laughs> Please do Joan primary. Uh, it's not really as good as the Nevsky primary. A46 is rallying 302 right now. That's cool. It's it's weird. Like, I know it's a big deal, but also... Oh, would you mind porting just, like, to the right of my city? Oh, yeah. Um, But, you know, it's been going on for, like... 10 or 12 days, just, you know. Go. That way we're out of the trees as well. Yeah, this will, it's nice for the video when I make a summary and it's like, boom, they're lined up nicely. Mm. All right, so this is ZLYS. All right, let's do it. Here we go. Zugliang5511. How's it going to be? We do see the marquee effect did not apply immediately. So this is definitely a little bit different. Oh, the rallying with Zugliang. Nice. I mean, he's going to be used everywhere, man. Barca? Nah. Zug double relic Caesar. We tried it. It was really bad. So the Sargon Skippy just freaking slaps, man. It's a scary combo. Proved to be scary. We can run that again. Just kind of see what happens. Yeah. He's 5511. We can look at that. I, I can show you. Troop buffs. 5511. One. You know what would be interesting to do after we run this test again? It would be interesting to do Boudica Esong for three tests and then Boudica Zugliang for three tests at the 5511. Yeah. That would be really interesting. Because then you could compare kind of which one's better. Uh, I feel like you opened that fight with big damage to me. The white numbers were definitely in your favor there. 
He might have got that old or, E song yeah. proc right at the start, man. But oh, I still flipped you yellow first. Uh, I think Zugliang Nebu performed better than Double Relic Thutmose. What do you value AP at in terms of gems? Uh, kind of depends. If you're pushing for rank, for honor, it's worth spending the gems, man. Is his AoE circular? Yes. He has circle AoE. Even 5511. Do you think he'll replace Boudica with Henry for archer rallies? Yes. He will be used. You probably use Henry with Zug. Actually, I should just keep using the same combo. I'll bring yeah, it back. I'll switch up to uh, Boudica now. Yeah, so you or do Boudica E Song. And we could run that three times. And then we do Boudicca Zugliang three times. And we see. Yep. Alright, so Boudicca e Song. Make sure it's 2100. Dude, Zugliang is going to be used for everything. Rally, he's garrison. I mean, if you watch. Ted Lasso. He he's the he's now the Roy Kent of Rise of Kingdoms. He's there, he's he's here, he's there, he's every freaking where. It's gonna be Zugliang. Everywhere, man. What are my impressions on Zugliang? He's amazing. Very happy, very impressive. So chat, what we do now is we get our baseline of Boudica E Song, because you're probably using Boudica E Song. I use Boudicca E Song. Okay. Then we bust out the Boudicca Zugliang. We see how it does. Skippy or Tarek Ibn Ziad? Uh, oh, Skippy Tarek. I, I could have run that on my main account, but I can't run it on this one. I'm actually surprised that Sargon Skippy is doing this well. What the heck talents do I have on this guy, bro? God dang. This one's freaking amazing. But a part of it is that I have an infantry sieve, and I'm using infantry. Get those extra base stats. Here we go. How is Zugliang E Song? It's okay. It just doesn't have any march speed, so it's not. It's like totally impractical. AOE size comparison with E Song and Zugliang. Wouldn't you say it's about the same? It looked like it overlapped completely. Yeah, it looked like a complete overlap. Is he good with rallies? Absolutely. Good with rallies. Good with garrison. He's good everywhere. Sargon Skippy, now the best infantry march? I, I think so, actually. I think so. Certainly in a dual context, it freaking slaps, man. That's crazy. What civ are you? Um, I believe I, I'm, in, I'm Viking as well. You're Viking. So. Okay, so you, so you are getting the benefit of the counterattack. <laughs> but... Compared to, you know, Ottoman, for example, which is what um, Yoda was using. It's kind of a different ballgame. Okay, here we go. Is this E Song still? One last E Song test? Yeah, one and last then we switch e it up. And we do Zug. Nice. Do Sargon Alex? Well, so the goal is that I'm using Sargon Skippy as kind of a consistent baseline. And so now we'll test the 5511 Zugliang with Boudica and just see how it does compared to just using an expertise e song. 
And uh, you... You have... No, never mind. I changed my mind. You're full of March Speed accessories and armaments. I still don't think you go fast enough. The only place where I think you can get away with it is in the KVK I'm in now. I actually think I could do it. I actually think I could get away with it. And it would not be bad. It might even be the meta, come to think of it. But Zugliang with Esong in the Orleans KVK. And then you use Edward of Woodstock secondary skill for the auxiliary skill for 30% march speed. And then I'll Sid third skill for another 15%. I actually think that might be meta. That would be insane. All right, so now we got the Zugliang. Let's freaking do this thing. I'm hyped. Now we can compare. Is it better or is it worse? We'll see. Well, the way... <laughs> It's definitely looking, the normal attack is definitely what, closer. It's closer, but it's still going really well for the Sargon. Yeah. Do you recommend Henry Zug is the only one Archer March for the field? I would say Boudicca Zugliang is your one Archer March for field. Zugliang is weak? Not at all. This is a 5 5 1 1 Zugliang. Against an expertise Sargon, expertise Skippy Prime. So Zugliang is amazing. Remember, this is now 5511 testing for those of you just tuning in. Earlier in the stream, we did the expertise testing. He matched my expectation that he would clap cheeks in every single way. So he is full scheme ahead. Absolutely go expertise him. No questions asked. Honestly, the second I saw his kit, there were never any questions asked. Like, you max Zugliang, you don't have to think about it. There's nothing you need to know about how he works. You just max him. He's he's up there with Sargon and Nevsky. Is like absolutely crazy. Sargon and Nevsky? I guess Skippy and Nevsky. Whatever, you know what I meant. Skippy and Nevsky. Sargon is just too good for dueling, actually. All right, let's do this again. And now let's start to compare the reports. So we got 17, 8 to 28. So we'll just call it 18 to 28. So a 10K differential here, roughly. I'm rounding. Yeah, it's better. It's, dude, 5511 is better than the E song. We'll see if it's consistent, but it's better than E song. 5511. Dude, I. I I feel pretty good with that conclusion already. That 5511 Zugliang is going to be better than Esong. We'll see. We'll see. But I think I think we can draw that conclusion. If, if, if it's not better, it's nearly identical. No, I'm not in Kingdom 2922. Every now and then an imposter shows up who tries to impersonate me. And then support shows up and claps cheeks. So it's only a matter of time before they get what they deserve for that. Without Boudicca, what's the best Zugliang combo? Hmm. Chat, what would you say was the best combo we, we saw? Let's look at this report. Uh, I mean, okay, so 5511... Zugliang is performing about the same as the E song, actually. So I if you can. Sorry, go ahead. And that's with Max and double uh, museum. No. Yeah, you have double relic on your E song, right? Yeah. Yeah. Chat says it's either Nebu or Henry. That makes sense. Henry for sure, chat says. Certainly in a dueling context, the Henry's really good. RevX, thank you for the super chat. So I'm thinking of running Boudicca Art and Zugliang Esong. Yeah, um, the only downside is it's just too slow, bro. 
You're too slow with the Zoogliang E song. That's my only concern. I don't know how you fix that problem either. Like, you kind of have to be an Orleans KVK to solve that. Um, how else could you pair them? It's not really a good way to do it. I think if you're going to use those commanders, that's the way to pair them. But I also think you're really going to miss that march speed a lot. Why would you have a Henry and not have a Boudica, though? True. Second best was E Song after Boudica. But rip March Speed. Yeah, that that's the thing. It might it might actually be better. I mean, Cortex. Am I crazy for feeling like maybe I should rework my auxiliary skills and do Zugliang E Song instead of Nebu? I mean, that seems better. Let's go Zugliang E Song, right? And then go El Cid with the second skill. Not El Cid. El Cid goes on the third skill, and Edward of Woodstock goes on the, uh, the second. That's 45% march speed. Easy. It will be insane damage. Yeah, I think you can fix it in this KVK format. It might not be very good for swarming garrisons, but I don't know. So, it performed. I mean, I would say spent just spending the universal to get five five one one. It it's on par with a uh, max West. It's it's about the same. Yeah, I think we would say it's about the same. Five five one one Zugliang is about as good as a max E song, which is why my video said rip E song. Uh, why don't I bring cavalry and you can use Boudica five five one one? Yeah, Zug. I'll, I'll bring calves. This is why in my video I was like, yeah, I don't think you should max E song anymore because now for five five one one levels of sculptures you can have the same thing. GG. Sargon is so good against Boudica. So Sargon is so good against literally anything in a 1v1. Sargon is like the, the, the just dual champion, man. Not even for KVK1. Well, sure. For The thing is, if you spend a bunch of money and you max Esong because you spun the wheel. No, he'll be good for KVK1. He'll be great for KVK1. He'll be great for KVK2. And then you get to KVK3 and you're like... Cool, so I mean I can use my E song, it's still really good, but it was a lot of sculptures for what I could have got for 5511. I mean, I think if you're a it, it it makes a clearer path between I'm a spender and I'm a free-to-play player. And if you're free to play, you pump the brakes, and if you're a spender, you move all in, maybe. Maybe. Alternate pairings if you don't have Boudica. Um Henry or Nebu or Honda secondary would be, I feel like, the primary things I would hunt for. Ramses is good. Ramses is good. He doesn't have base march speed, but he does get triggered march speed. 5511 Boudica with Expertise Esong or 5511 Zhu Liang. Now I'm conflicted, new to Season of Conquest. I would say... Ooh. See, the Boudica has the March Speed at least. But maybe you do the Zhu Liang. Check Discord. Uh-oh. All right, Cortex message. Let's see here. Zugliang with E Song versus Boudica Zugliang. Yeah, Zugliang with E Song. I did about as good as Boudica E Song. The problem is that he just doesn't have any march speed. So if if looking at the previous test results, Boudica with E Song and Zugliang with E Song did about the same. I feel like you between Boudica and Zugliang, it's just better to work on Zugliang. Don't we think that's the case, chat? I think so. Ichi, I think you're better off just going for Zugliang. 
but you're gonna be so hurting for march speed it's just gonna be really painful best two archer marches Probably Zugliang with Nebu, and then Boudicca with Esong. Or Henry with Zugliang. Or your Boudicca could be paired with Artemisia. That animation what? is pretty dope, Reza, yeah, for sure. You could try to get March Speed on your armaments. I guess that's true. It's kind of hard to do, though, and they're kind of bad. On armaments. Would Zug be good with other commanders like Skippy? I think it might be okay, but this you really shouldn't be doing that. Like, you should try to pair him with archers. Time for triple line formation. Yeah, with all march speed armaments, I guess so. Zugliang Artemisia was fine, but not amazing. You want me to try Skippy Prime with Alex? Okay. Pass opens tomorrow at 15 UTC. You know what I'm uh, I'm looking through the skill report and unless uh, I'm missing it, I have not. Uh, I went through all t the turns and I'm not seeing our key pump at all. I know it's well the sound of it, but oh here we go. Yeah, we. Out of all these, I think I I went through all thirty. I went through thirty eight turns and only failed only top one. Hmm. Okay, polls up. Who do you think is the better pair with Boudica? Or sorry, who do you think is the better pair with Isong? Is it Boudica or Zugliang? <laughs> That's an interesting question. You want me to do a wise sheet just for I mean, Boudicca like... only has like 10% march speed anyways, right? Doesn't Boudicca only have like 10% march speed anyways? Uh, like, it's actually not that much on the Boudicca. Yeah, it's only yeah, 10%. So, I don't know. I guess you Zuglaying Esong, right? You're missing 10%. You will be you will feel the pain of it. But it is maybe better. Boudica is slow as hell. It is. Yeah. If it's Orleans, honestly, I'm gonna do Zugi song, I think. I actually think I've talked myself into it. I have Edward of Woodstock. I use his skill. I have I have El Sid. I'll use his skill. Why the hell not? I think it works. And then I have uh, Thutmose and I think Cyrus on Boudicca. Uh, for this pass, do you get all three skills? Or That's 45% march speed, yeah. Sorry, what were you saying? You have all three slots open for this next zone, correct? No, only two. Only two. Oh, so Only you know, two. Yeah, it's no. crazy. Oh, bro, if I had three slots, oh, we'd be doing stuff. But no, for, for this fight in Orleans KVK, you actually don't get to use the overwhelming majority of commanders. Um, Zimbo, thank you for the super. Do you think Boudicca Art, Henry Liang, and Nebu Isong, all expertise in the open field is worth running? Yes. But your Nebu Isong is going to get pretty clapped on the regular. So I, I think you could be a triple archer player and get away with it. But I think being a double archer player is better. So can you run triple archer? Yes. Should you run triple archer? I feel like 1960 would tell you that you should be using a Trajan March. So... In my opinion, depending on the number of marches you run, you probably want two to one if you're using five marches. So that's two of one tri uh, troop type, two of another troop type, then one of, of a final. If you use six marches in the field in KVK, depending on how much you spend, you probably want two, two, two. 
two infantry, two cavalry, two archer. And if you use seven, you probably want three, two, two, or two, 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 and a Trajan March, right? Can we get more Zugliang Esong? Sure, we could do that. We'll look at these reports and then let's do more Zugliang Esong. No, because I was going to say, if you have an option for all three skills, or uh, Zug, Zug is not the, the new KDK, so you can't use the skills, right? Because imagine if you had Nebu something, third skill was Marquee. In addition. Redline, what's up, brother? What are my seven marches? Yeah. So because I'm going to rally, by the way, hey, we got a celebrity in the chat. Yo, can we get some hype in the chat for Redline? The most positive, optimistic mf -er on the face of the earth. Let's go. Yo, can we get some hype for Redline? He's also a content creator, has a YouTube channel. You should check it out and subscribe. Big poggers. Hype in the chat for Redline. Let's go. Um, here's my seven marches. Okay, seven marches. I got Trajan with Ethel fled. I, I didn't want to use Trajan Ethel, but I'll explain that in a second. It has to do with March speed balancing. I wanted to do Trajan Skippy. I'm going to do Trajan Ethel for March speed reasons. And that's because of auxiliary skills. I'm using Guan with Skippy. And then I'm using Tata Gibbon Ziad with Sargon. Now, I assume that Tata Gibbon Ziad and Pakal are still a rally. I actually don't know that it is. I assume that it is. But I really wanted my rally march to just be ready to rally. It drives me insane to switch gear and armament and all this crap when it's like, I just need to set my effing rally. So it's not the best field combo to use Tadek Sargon, but I am because I just want to be able to set rallies. And in the Siege of Orleans KVK, you only get to pick one thing that you get to be good at. It's either Rally or it's Garrison, but like you, there's only enough auxiliary skills to do one properly. So, I chose Rallying. I, I feel like I've got to be the infantry guy in the kingdom for that Rally, right? I have to be. I don't know who else it would be. So, I went for it. Um, then, for my Archers, I have Boudicca Artemisia. And I might do Zugliang with Esong, actually and put 45% of march speed from auxiliary skills. I, I, we'll see. We'll see how I'm feeling about that. Otherwise, what I would do is Nebu with Zugliang. And there's my archers. My cavalry are very obvious and straightforward. You've got Nevsky, Joan, and XY with William, and I don't even have to think about it. Uh, it's just easy. It's just done. There's nothing to debate. It's just correct. So there you have it. My marches. That's Trajan Ethel. I'll even drop it in the chat. Juan Skippy. Harakibin Ziad Sargon. XY William. Nevsky Joan. Boudica with Art. And last but not least, it should be Zugliang Nebu. But what I might do is Nebu, or not Nebu, Zug YSG with lots of ox skills for March Speed. <laughs> Lol. Theradius! Hey, thank you for the super chat. Why am I missing 10 talent points after expertising him and raising him to 60? I choose to use the rage build you recommended and you're missing 10 talent points? How are you missing 10 talent points, bro? Are you sure you're not level 50? Teradius, are you sure you're not level 50? Let me look at these reports real quick, Sasuke. So, Nevsky Joan, 17,600 to 34,000 on the Zoo Yi song. 17 to 32, 18 to 28 when, you, when it was Boudicca Yi song. That's interesting. 18 to 28 when it was Boudicca Esong. I feel like... 
Zug Liang is like fine here, but at 5511, like he's gonna get messed up by the old old meta. Is that what we're learning here? Chat is saying to Teradius, just restart your game. Yeah, no, I'm not telling you to max them, Redline. Um, if you have the gear for another infantry march, you, like, you probably... I mean, do you have Sargon maxed? Wait, Red, do you have Sargon maxed, bro? Did you max Sargon? Sasuke, I know you max Sargon. <laughs> I, know, I know you max Sargon. Hey, um... I don't have max the CJ. And I refuse uh, to max it. Let me switch up what I bring here. Let me try my Boudicca E song. You don't have oh, Sargon. I was to do one with Panda. <laughs> mm. So, so Redline, I think Sargon's really good. And for a guy like you who's going to swarm a garrison, he ain't bad. Although, are you going to be rallying archers? What are you, what are you rallying with, bro? You have 2,200 heads! Holy. Everything. Uh... All right, Sasuke, let's do this thing. I brought my Boudicca this time. Yeah, you're rallying archers. Okay. So, and you have all the archers you need expertise. These are like 2,200 heads on top of whatever else you need for all the other crap. You've already done all your other crap. You already did, did all your other stuff? Ruben, thank you for the super chat. Have you heard about... No, I haven't heard about that. Appreciate the super chat. I simply have not heard about it. Tradius, I got excited and I forgot to raise him from 60. Oh, 260 from 50. All right, cool. I figured that's what it was. When you were like, I'm down 10 talent points. I'm like, all right. So we took it to six stars and didn't level it up. That's cool. On the super excited side about the archer meta. Thank you for the coverage and videos. Okay, so after maxing Zhu Liang, you have 1,500 heads left. So I can tell you what Sea Whale did in 1960, and I think that that's what the rest of 1960 did, is they did Guan and Skippy with Tadakib and Ziad. But if you didn't want to max yet another commander, like, I don't know that you should max Tadek Ibn Ziyad right now. I don't know that that's good. But if you wanted to do, like, you probably have Mehmed double relic. So, like, or you have Honda. So you could do Skippy with either Honda or Mehmed double relic. And I think that'd be really good. So, do, like, do I think that Sargon would be worth it for your field? I think Sargon could be good, bro. But I don't think you should also do Tadek Ibn Ziyad. Redline is the cavalry and archer Chad. Hey, bro. Hey, cheers, Tradius. Welcome to the Elite Guard, bro. I appreciate you, man. Thank you for renewing. 29 new members this stream. Let's freaking go. Yeah, so if you got 1,500 heads left, you max Sargon, put him as the secondary to Guan. I think that's pretty good, but don't do the Tarek Ibn Ziyad. That, that is super questionable right now. And the thing about Sargon, like, if you read those skills, bro, you're going to be swarming garrisons, right? Like, that that's good for swarming garrisons, right? Like, that's good. All right, so Boudicca E Song is beating the 5511 Zuge Liang with an expertise E Song. Why don't you bring um, Boudicca Zug Liang and I'll use Boudicca E Song? How about that? Am I maxing Liang right away? I am probably maxing him tonight. I'm definitely not waiting for another wheel. I'm probably maxing him tonight. And 
I might max him tomorrow, but I'm probably just gonna do it tonight. Kyoto says Shiskul doesn't answer me. Uh, sorry, dude. A lot going on right now. It's always the worst when I look up in the chat and I see someone say they're not answering me, but I don't see where their question is. GG. It's like I finally see your message and instead of the question, I see the observation that I missed your question. Whoops. Where did he chat? Thank you for the five gifted, brother. Hope you're doing well. Fun Suave, what's up, dude? Oh, stick with Guan, Alex, and Skippy Sargon. Yeah, that's a good combo, dude. That would also work. Especially if you put some tanky auxiliary skills on your Guan. That could be pretty good. Guan, Alex, and Skippy Sargon would be totally fine as well. Yeah, yeah. That would also be great for Redline. Alexander the Great, bro. I used his auxiliary skill personally, but you know. Uh, actually, I would recommend going and then do the auxiliary skills to focus on Guan. Oh, bro. Martel for the, the second auxiliary skill in, on Guan is insane. 20% health, 20% defense, 20% march speed. Oh my god. It's so what? dumb. How the world of sports are y'all doing in here? Who's in here? Sasuke's in here with you? Yeah, bro. What's up? Yeah, we got Word Eddie Chad in the voice now. What's up, dude? What are you doing? So we're testing 5511 five, Zugliang. And oh, um, okay. it's about as good as an expertise double relic e song. That, that was our conclusion. <laughs> Oh, man. He's so broken. <laughs> yeah, he's really good. It, he's really, 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 really good. It's just like no way around it. So, um, oh, look at that. Look at that AoE effect. That is so Oh, yeah. Cool. Have you seen? The animation's insane, bro. Whoa. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Yeah. It's pretty nuts. 1,500 people watching this thing. Let's go. Throw a like. Let's freaking go. Yeah. Um, Chadski, I was tinfoil hatting earlier, and I, I like kind of want to run Zugliang with Esong, and I know I've been hating on the march speed, but but do you know how I solve this? Uh put put Eddie's second skill on <laughs> You use on Eddie's Zug second and you use <laughs> El Cid third. And you oh. gain what is it, twenty percent defense and thirty percent health and forty five percent march speed. Yeah, 40 minutes. That's vroom vroom, bro. That's, that's like pretty good, hard. right? I don't, that ain't bad. That thing's going to be running by your... I, I might do that, honestly. <laughs> Whoa. I mean... It's going to be faster know, like, can... than all my other marches. Before I do that, I'm going to march speed balance all my stuff and see how dumb it would be. But I think Where? it's actually good. I got, like in, in Orleans KVK, I think it would be good. Let me look at these. Um, If you want to bring your march out again, let's swing in and then I'll look at the reports while we're battling. But I'm winning with the Boudicca Isong over the Boudicca Zugliang. What talents do you have on your Boudicca? You Archer Tree or you Skill Tree? I'm on the second shirt. Make sure you're actively using your Ritz. Oh yeah, no, I, I got like 3,000 Ritz. I got 3,000 Riz up in here, bro. These auxiliary skills. It, 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 here's here's what I did, real, and not to. I'm not going to try to rabbit hole you here, but <clears throat> I literally am looking at like Alex's kind of his attack and march speed skill. And you know what I'm going to do with it? I'm going to put it on Guan Leo, and I. I, I would, I, <laughs> You're bringing Leo back, huh? Well, I just I'm like sitting there thinking to myself, I could go Guan Alex with some Leo. But I don't. We don't have Leo yet. We don't have Leo on the auxiliary skills for this fight. Right. Ball. You could do so that, like, man. Okay, I'll just run Guan Leo. Speedy Guan Leo. Speedy Guan Leo with thirty percent more attack. Yeah, I'll take that. That's that. That makes that makes the balance march of Guan Leo even more punchy and faster. Okay, great. I'll take it. And so, because I gotta, I gotta do something. Because I'm gonna run this Honda. 
get after it. <laughs> Leo, this guy. Bro, Honda's looking pretty pretty meh these days, I'm not gonna lie. I know, I know. But he, I'm he's looking like cool. really solidly meh. So that was a 5511 Nebu? Yes, 5511 Zhu Liang, 5511 Nebu. Okay. I think it's roasted out pretty good. Just cool. Tell us a, more about the marquee skill. So the marquee skill basically gives you 10% more all damage, but then it it clears itself away and will do area of effect damage from the fourth skill. Teradius with a 10 gifted. Let's go. One for each talent point. Play. Big boggers. Cheers, dude. I appreciate you. Welcome to Discord, the challenge I'm using. wants confirmation that you will max Zhu Liang before. Oh, I mean, uh, look, I'm either going to max Zhu Liang tonight, or I'm going to do it after I spin to 100, right after reset. You're, but I probably a, just max it tonight. Like that's such a value chills thing to say. I know. Well, well, here's here's the deal, right? Like, let's just think about it for a second. What do you get? <laughs> okay, you get 15 gold heads. You get the privilege of spending some gems for that to go from like 60 to 100 spins, right? Um, either way, I'll spin to 70 because the gold heads will be worth it. Because at 70, don't you get, like, universal gold heads, I think? Yes. So, right. 10 universals. So that's just worth it. Okay. So that we're doing either way at, at reset. But, like, let's say you get 20 gold heads, right? Like, five from your spins. Plus, you spend some gems, and you got some speed ups, and that's all nice. Okay. So 20 gold heads. We're talking about, like, 40,000 gems worth of value. Okay. So how many garrisons do I need to trade better on? To feel like I got 40,000 gems or worth of value when I'm swarming. Do you see what I mean? Like, it's, how many better trades in a garrison swarm? How many better trades in the field? Where I'm like, that was 40,000 gems worth of value to me. Yeah, let's let's face it. It's, it's like nine hours worth, right? Of expertise. Z, Z huge? Zugliang? Zugliang, and so, yeah. And so, is nine hours worth, is it worth it? in the first nine hours of fighting or just to wait because you're going to get the 15 heads you're going to get the 10 heads it's 25 heads odds are you're going to get another you know anywhere from five to 15 heads just from the spins so is it worth waiting and if you're not if you're not like we've got players that are like gonna be our archer rallies like right off the bat so the they archer have rallies to. have to max it that's not even a question to. like if you're an archer rally you max it so yeah i think i'm okay with that i i, I approve of the of the chisco value train i'm okay yeah i'm okay with it. well so if you think about it you're so you're saying well, it's I, nine I, hours I, I, worth of fielding and stuff right but the first Two hours are where we're connecting our territory anyways, right? So we're actually talking about maybe seven hours worth of fighting well, around flags. I don't know. I, you, you, cheesy Pants might be rolling over here to our east side, and, and we're going to hook up pretty quick. <laughs> <laughs> it's uh, it's going to be... It's gonna yeah, be a true. Pass over here. True. <laughs> Critic says bunch of free to plays. Yeah, we probably just max it. Stop being so free to play. People are here for the value discussion, though, right? Chat. Red should probably. No, red should not expertise Lubu. You crazy? There, no, red. Red is red's full sin. Everything right now. Oh, so dude, yes. you're Tommy. Five one three five. You got that. Got wrecked, bro. I think Zuliang Tommy is is not a thing. Sasuke, your Tommy is exactly where it needs to be. Just grab the support skill on the fourth skill at five or grab it in the auxiliary skill. Leave your Tommy where it is. Uh, <laughs> how much? I guess I spend, I guess I spend to a hundred on my restart account though. That's probably worth. Hey, why don't you ever play in our little simple arc that we play in on, on Saturday nights? 
Uh, I mean, I probably could. I just I mean, we have we got Sasuke's alt and Bondi's alt. Peace and I play our our mains over there or main accounts in twenty two ninety three. Yeah. We have fun. We have fun with it. We always get matched. We're outnumbered. <laughs> Will Hera Zugliang work? I I was in, okay. This is a good question because I was thinking about this. The I, answer I, I just I think I need you to look at the skills and. Chisco, you tell me, does he have art? How many archer exclusive skills does he have? I think um, he's got enough of them. I'm not gonna lie. But at the same time, just for the anti swarm, uh, you you get the normal attack boost or re reduction from Hera with free troop ties. I can't remember. Is it is it the? I think it's a boost. Like 10 I or 15 think you would want to just use one troop type, maybe, and just have all archers. Because I think that the Zugliang skills for all archers are probably better than the Hera skills. I'm, we'll, we'll take a look together and see. I, I'm just I'm playing to, from memory I'm, here. I'm trying to figure out if this marquee effect, it pops off and any any skill fires off, right? Okay. So, so does that mean like Cyrus's reactive skill or or his, his procs? Does it mean... Hera, when Hera's shield reaches a certain level, he, he fires off more skill damage. Oh, I, mean, I thought it was just active skills. It's probably just active skills, I'm going to assume. Talos is saying mixed is better. Okay. Okay. Oh, I see what you were trying to do there to get the report, because we weren't going to get it. That was awesome. Yeah. All right. <laughs> um... So we can look at these max heroes real quick. Oh god, I gotta change my city themes and all this crap on this account. Um, <laughs> all right, we change everything back real quick. Chazki, did you see I got some armament upgrades? No, no. They were I like knew you were gonna, they I were kind of f's to... in the chat moments, but they were actually still upgrades, which is kind of funny. <laughs> So like well, I think everyone was like, oh, that's too bad. It was so bad. But then we were like, oh, actually, it's an upgrade. Oh, that works. Um, yeah. Well, when you, when you're Dude, getting only with the five... armament system can you get an upgrade, not know it, and be like both excited and disappointed at the same time. The um, when you're going five, six, seven deep on your marches, um, you can you can upgrade. I, I we always look at it at the high end, right? For the for the our top three marches: archer, infantry, cavalry. Are we getting upgrades? And then, but you'll find some sneaky stuff down there at the bottom where it's just like, oh my my second archer march. That's like my sixth march. No, oh, okay, I can upgrade this. You know. Yeah. No, I mean I got uh, Daniel. Cheers. Thank you for the six months. If you're enjoying the stream, by the way, consider subscribing and throwing a like onto the stream. And remember, tomorrow the pass opens for one of the most hype KVKs that probably happens this year. So it should be a lot of fun. You're not going to want to miss it, chat. Um, What commander? Am oh, yeah, Sargon. Right. Let's get him set up. And then we switch back to the main and do some KVK prep. I mean, sheesh, it's crazy. Okay. Yeah, I'm with you. I think I'm. I'm just gonna go ahead and prep everything tonight. I don't care about Canyon at this point. Like, I don't want to have to. No, stuff around. no, F Canyon, bro. It's at this point. It's we'll all just... about preparations. You're you're in the. It's the final countdown, man. It's the final countdown. The the only thing that you should consider doing after you see where your tech is at is you might be like, I'm gonna go hit some barbs. <laughs> and, you know, I might use one round of helps and let it run overnight to heal my hospital down. But, like, yeah, hitting barbs is actually probably value. I'm going to be real with you. Spending that AP is pro probably worth it. I deeply regret not spending more time spending my AP earlier. I just didn't realize. I was like, oh, I have 800,000 action points, bro. When the hell did that happen? <laughs> the last time I did a KVK where we actually had serious fighting, I literally zeroed my AP and was gemming AP to get a rank. And then somehow I'm back up to 800,000. Whoops. 
but I I still spent a lot of it. Not all of it, but a lot of it. And I pulled down millions of crystals, which is super valuable right now. I mean, it's how you get a tech advantage. By the way, Sasuke, are you still here? Yo, can we get some hype in the chat for Sasuke? Big shout out to Sasuke. Thank you again for doing the testing with me. I deeply appreciate it. I thought it was insightful to see how strong the 5511 Zugliang is. So let's get that hype in the chat for Sasuke for doing that testing. I appreciate you, man. Oh, hey, there you are. Um, yeah. Your oh. mic is cutting out a little bit. What, what did you say? You might need to reconnect. <laughs> My Bluetooth is bad. There you go. Whoa, that's way better. <laughs> uh, okay, Lilith likes my farm better than my main. I just got three eight spots in a row. <laughs> uh, rip. That's, that's the way it happens every time. Every freaking oh, time. I say farm. It's my second account that's all archers that Chad plays with a lot, so. <laughs> it's um, good. Yes. Sasuke's got some whale problems. He's He's, you know... <laughs> He's covert whale. Like I've got like a eighty million power archer account. That's like my alt. It's only sixty. <laughs> it's only sixty. Well, we just got out of KBK. Uh, All right. It was sixty-five. Uh, just what I recommend if you're going to hold off. I feel like five five one five might be the way to go if you're not going. If you can land that, to hold off on the hundred. You think 5515 five, five is better than 5551? Five, 51. Five, five, one. Getting the marquee effect. I think the marquee is going to be more important. I feel like the marquee is more important if you are going to max it. Like but the expertise you... is where the marquee starts to get really spicy. But Chiz, what you're you're running two archer marches as it is right yes. now, right? Yes. And so what <sighs> Like, do you really need him in the first nine day, nine hours? Need who? Zuglang? Yeah. I mean, no. I mean, I'm going to use him, but I, guess, I mean, it's not critical. <clears throat> yeah. This fight's just going to be so awesome. It's going to be so much fun. <laughs> oh, dude. I mean, we got... Hopefully, like, over a week of entertainment from yeah, this. It's it's days and days. Let's go. Okay. <laughs> uh, Chad? Yo. My archer account is definitely going to be uh, better. <laughs> <laughs> With this guy? <laughs> just, I, I only had 20k gems. I just hit three more eight spots. Let's go. I need to spin the wheel too. I haven't done that yet. So, so here's, I, I, you know, I was thinking about this. Okay. Cause I, 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 you know, I'm a man of the people, right? And so most everybody is getting into SOC is developing their accounts is going through all their stuff. And Boudica YSG is an easy meta March, really easy. You can work YSG early in the game. You got them expertise by the time you get to SOC. Boudica comes out. She's one of your first priorities. It's an, it's, So everybody has a, an archer march. Because let's face it, there's not enough good archers in the early game to warrant, um, you know, really going heavy on archers and equipment and all that stuff. And so people are all, they always show up, like accounts that are getting older, um, but they're still relatively young. They're always behind on the archers, right? And so I think this new commander kind of kind of messes all that up because it almost either a forces people to bench ysg or b it forces people to get a second archer march like if you didn't have a reason before now you got a reason to get a second archer march and yeah the march speed is just so weird on this one uh, i guess i should say yeah. the lack of march speed because otherwise, I mean, you just be like, oh, yeah, go go Zugliang with Esong, right? Like, easy. No-brainer. 
Yeah, I mean, so much damage. So much damage. Like, that's a canyon no-brainer. Like, bench Boudica, put in Liang, and let him run with YSG, and you're going to wreck Canyon. Yeah. And so, all the meta teams are going to immediately start using him in Canyon, and you're going to get killed. And so, I, you know, for the combos, Nebu gives you some march speed. You know, how do you kind of maybe put him in there? You got a little bit from Henry. You know, it's... Ooh. it's this, Bro, these spins are looking good, by the way. Hello? He's got four sculptures. Let's go. But what is he What is he holding in his hand? Is that a fan? Is that a feather fan? Yeah, we, I think it's a feather fan. It's like, like a fancy it, person he, thing. It's like a royalty he, he thing. Looks, he looks like an advisor. He doesn't look like a, a commander that's going to kill people. <laughs> that's well that's the sequel Woo! eight spot Neil, let's go free to play peasants Jeez, bro yo that that's the you know it, it, he's not trying to show off that he's about to clap those cheeks otherwise he wouldn't catch you by surprise you know you didn't see it coming and then boom you get hit with the arrows that's how it works it looks like a therapist chat says bro he was known for holding that in all his pictures chat says Dang, did I just get three all more sculptures? Pictures? First of all, oh. nobody had a camera back then. There were no pictures. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's so, but in all the paintings, okay, I get it. I get it. He was a master <laughs> advisor, chat says. Read his bio. Military. Yeah, he like was Guan Yu's military advisor. Oh, shit. You got to be pretty good to advise Guan Yu. Oh, yeah. Three more sculptures. Let's go. Guan Yu was probably smarter than all his military advisors until he got this guy. Lu Bu? Lu <laughs> Bei. Lu Bei. Oh, oh, that's one else. He was... Yeah, but... So, so for people that don't know, because I've read these books and i played these games, Lu Bei, Zhang Fi, and Guan Yu were like the three best friends, right? And Lu Bei was kind of the... He was kind of the warlord, the king. And Zhang, Zhang Fi and, and Guan Yu were his two guys. And I think this Liang guy was Lu Bei's advisor, which in essence was Guan Yu's by everybody's advisor, because he was kind of the advisor of their whole, you know, clan, if you will. Now that's kind of cool. Sense. That's history lesson. There you go. Teach me, <laughs> or advise <laughs> me, I suppose would be more appropriate. Guan didn't listen to this guy and died. <laughs> Is that is that oh, what actually happened in history? Oh God, that's been as terrible. Oh, I, don't, I think Guan died by, by, I think he died, he, he died in battle, but it was it was like a noble cause, like he he knew he was gonna die or something. Poppy Chadsky on the case, dude. I have so much to do. It's crazy. Click them all, bro. Just click the buttons. The, here's the other thing that's crazy though, is that after I've done all this. I got to fire up Call of Dragons. We got a freaking Forge of Light with a new artifact to go. Oh, oh no. Bro. <laughs> oh, my what? God. It's just too much. It is kind of too much, actually. Crab Rave. Let's go. Oh, you love the organic ones. Sheesh. <laughs> Happened all on its own. You know the deal. Chat. Drop those crab emojis in the chat it's the one and only time you can spam the chat oh my god that spin is amazing uh thank you crab rave for bringing me this luck what thank you crab Bro. rave thank you thank you thank you uh, thank you thank you thank you crab rave appreciate you welcome to smash squad let's go big poggers 12 sculptures Power of the crab. That's right, chat. Power of the crab. Chesco will be like, uh, you know, I'll get the 15 sculptures guaranteed and maybe five more in the last 30 spins. Uh, unless I start hitting eight spots and spins like that. Boudica Esong or Zuge Liang with Esong? I mean, I'd probably use the Boudica Esong, but Zuge Liang with Esong is really crazy. Zuge Liang is gonna slay tomorrow. Dude, the timing of this guy dropping before the pass opening, like that can't be a coincidence. No. That can't be a coincidence. It's honestly lucky that it's not the garrison. Bro. 
If the crazy. garrison drop before the pass, I think that would just be uh, too I have much. like maybe five more days of getting to rally with infantry and then I can just forget about it. Yeah. Pretty much after Dito lands, I can just... Just... Uh, hope. I don't know. Um, okay. Well, I, I honestly feel like Chad's right. Hera and uh, Zeng is going to be huge as Garrison. How good is Zugliang? Very good. Very, very good. Oh, I got to do a stupid Kahar quest. GG. I guess I got to do all my Kahars anyways. I can run all these barbing marches home. I'm gonna have to change civilizations. I haven't decided what Civ to do yet. Uh, I mean, I we were deciding between just going full rally damage or accounting for the fact that I'm probably gonna swarm garrisons as well and be in the field, in which case I should do Ottoman. But Egypt, if I wanted to just be pure rallies would be the way to go. Run these guys home. I guess on the way home I can hit a couple barbs. Pass opens tomorrow. Pass opens very, very soon. It's tomorrow morning. Cav Civ? Eh. Go Viking for the troop load? Nah. Arabia's where it's at. I mean, Arabia and Egypt are kind of same, same. What's the best infantry formation? I use Wedge, personally. I don't even remember what my upgraded armaments were. Dude, I got 51 sculptures of Zhu Liang here. That's kind of nuts. That's a really good result for me. Uh, what was my upgraded armament? It was on Tarek ibn Ziyad. No. No. Was it? Maybe it wasn't. Boudicca got one, though. I got Deflector, Enduring. So, 3% extra counterattack. 3% less skill damage taken. And 1.7 defense. We thought that was an upgrade. It was a pretty minor upgrade, but upgrade nonetheless. Oh, new barb spawned in. Oh, God, I gotta do. I gotta hit barbs. I gotta do so much crap, man. <laughs> if you're if you're focusing on Tariq, uh, you said it would be you, you wouldn't be considering the counterattack with Vikings. How to give in Ziad if I'm gonna rally? No. Yeah. I, Viking is not the play for rallying. It, it's way worse than going with Egypt, Arabia, or Egypt. Yeah, it's way worse than that. The all damage is just crazy. Like the five percent attack, three percent counter attack is not as good as five percent all damage. <laughs> it's just not even close. Yeah, I forget that I <laughs> my counter attack on Tariq. I got so lucky on armaments. <laughs> I mean, my infantry stats are pretty good on my Tata Given Ziad. I got 7.9 attack, 10.9 defense, 12.6 health. That, that's pretty good. 31 and uh, what, almost 31 and a half percent of stats there. That's pretty good. All these barbs are just here, man. I got to hit them. I need the crystal chat. I'm a freaking addict. I need my crystal. We should go spin the wheel on my restart, though. As soon as I get home with these guys, I'll go spin the wheel on my restart. 
burn that AP. I know, I gotta burn through. Like tonight when I go off stream, the problem is I don't even have time. I don't even have time to burn my AP. I just don't have the time. I should burn my AP. You're absolutely correct. Like every bit of it. Get every little freaking crystal I can. Chadsky, you still in here, bro? Did he bounce? Wait, see, he's muted. All right. Zugliang and Mathmad. I think it's fine, but it still suffers from the March speed problem. That's still kind of an unsolved mystery for you. I really wish Honda would act. It would work with Honda because that that helps your March speed at least. I mean, it it like works. It's just not great. Use six marches? No, I definitely should, yeah. I wasn't actually expecting to hit a bunch of barbs. Especially on stream. These are just kind of like bonus barbs. Um, here's what I should do is just run this home. If I'm really gonna run around barbing, I'm gonna pop an expansion, I'm gonna get a rune. Well, you gotta at least use a 25% expansion, you know? You got a zillion of them. Did you miss Zugliang? I mean, kind of. He's really good. TLDR, he's really good. Dude, I swear, I'm gonna pop both of these necklaces and I'm gonna get... Okay, at least I can AoE them. I'm gonna get quests. I'm gonna get two quests and I'm gonna be like, gosh, bless it, I don't have... a freaking... thing to summon a Kahar. We'll see. If AoE value is the play or if I should have done it differently. Zugliang is, dude, he's crazy, bro. He's crazy. Triple line formation for the marsh speed. That is generally what I use on my barb marches. This particular one doesn't have that. I need all the stinking crystal I can get. Oh, another barb quest. GG. I go hit some barbs now. Dito with Zugliang or Dito and Amanatori. Honestly, probably Zugliang. Honestly. He's insane. Pedrino, thank you for the super chat, by the way. I appreciate it. Yeah, Dito with Zugliang for Garrison? Sure, bro. Sure. Amanatori with Zugliang for Garrison? Sure, bro. Sure. 100%. 100%. Let's go hit another barb. You gotta get these if bastions pick, done. If you had to pick a pass garrison using Zhu Liang, who would you use? Pass garrison? Well, so kind of like how we broke uh, Slavia Sargon, the Nevsky, where it just doles out too much skill damage. What I use? Um. Are they sort of AFK? I can't tell. Oh, here they are. Pass Garrison? I mean, if you have the equipment for it, it's probably Hera. Hera's kind of nuts. With Zugliang? That's probably going to be really good. Oh, troop training quest. GG. Dude, every time I get a troop training quest, I take it like a dare. I'm like, you dare me to train more troops? Okay, sure. Sure thing. Sure. All right. I'll train. Twist my arm. 
train without a stupid rune. I don't even care. Cortex taught me well. Alright, yeah, I think they're safe. Semi AFK. Alright, I'm gonna hop off here. Hey, cool dude, I'll catch you later. Yep. We are kind of at the point where I need to change civilizations, chat. Also, I might need to, like, port up to the front. Because where I'm at now, I'm just, like, not getting any freaking Barbara port rallies here. I think I got a port down here. Down to the pass. There's actually a shocking number of teleport spaces at the pass, so that's kind of cool. Time, time to port down, chat. Um, before I do that, I guess. Ooh, don't, don't push help though. I just gotta let that run overnight. I'll remember to do that later. I got bundles to buy. I got all kinds of crap to do, man. Before we do that, let's go switch to my restart and spin the wheel. Let's go spin the old wheel. Cheers. Ramon, I appreciate you. Am I going Ottoman? I don't know. I I'm like kind of tempted to go with... Kind of tempted to go with Egypt for the 5% all damage. All right, let's spin the wheel. Here we go. The thing is, like, I have too many gold heads on this account now somehow. I know that sounds weird, but I have 1,659 gold heads. Like, how much am I spinning this wheel, really? I don't know. It's, it's weird. I probably need the gems for other things like equipment. What does all damage include? Normal, counter, and skill. I guess normal and counter are the same thing. It's just normal damage and skill damage. Let me say that more accurately. Normal includes counter. Is the new infantry skin better than Twilight Falls for infantry? Yes. Absolutely. Pick Ottoman. If Egypt is better. I mean, Ottoman will be way better for fielding. Egypt will be better for rallying. Because they do a lot of fielding. I do a lot of swarming. New infantry skin is so exciting. I agree. You're only live on YouTube? I am. Yeah, I don't do Twitch. What made you choose France in your restart account? Um, because I have three infantry marches on this account, so I have the special unit. I wouldn't advise going with three of one troop type these days, but that's what I did, and that's what I have, so that's what I'd recommend, uh, like, in this instance... The stats benefit me for everything. I don't rally or garrison. I only field. You could make an argument that I'm just being a free-to-play. I think that's what Cortex would say. Why are you being so free-to-play? Just go with Ottoman. That That's actually fair. I can hear him saying that already. Don't be so free-to-play with France. Just go with Ottoman. I probably should just switch. But I do have, again, like three marches that benefit from the special unit, which is not nothing. 
as opposed to one archer march. That spin is absolutely dog doo doo. Hello? You need three more sculptures to unlock him? Let's go. Get that unlock, baby. Who should I pair with Budoka Prime? Esong Max or a 5511? They're about the same. Dewa, they're about the same. We tested it, and they were approximately the same. So, you're fine. I know, the Forge of Light. I gotta do that in Call of Dragons. I'm gonna make a video immediately after this. I suppose I could live stream it. I mean, I could live stream it and make the video at the same time. I don't know, chat. Would you want me to do that? Would you, would you want me to fire up Call of Dragons once we're all done with the rock stuff? And uh, just live stream it and make the video at the same time? Like, I could do that. Or I could end stream when we're all done with the rock stuff and then just do that on my own. I know a lot of big content creators do that. Like, you know, I, they'll just film it while they're live. And then edit it when they're done. Maybe I'll do that. I mean, with 1,500 people watching, I'd be kind of dumb to end my live stream. I'll be honest. Dude, ending my live stream was actually just dumb. With that many people watching. I mean... I think I spin this to at least 70 now. But my gem count's okay. It's okay. It's not great. You may be wondering, Chisco, what happened to your gems? You may recall that I spent like 250,000 gems. Maybe it was like 300,000 gems to get to VIP 17. So that's what happened to my gems on this account. No pressure recording a video in front of 1,500 people. Yeah, no pressure, bro. No pressure. Honestly, I don't mind it. I mean, there were 2,500 people in the stream earlier. <laughs> so, like, whatever. Whatever. You know what's funny is I used to speak professionally in front of large audiences. And I was like, wow, large audience has, like, you know, 500 people in person and some number of people watching remotely it was like wow so many and now it's like yeah you know whatever 2500 people are chilling in the stream it's no big deal uh all right cool 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 that was fun we miss your cod live streams though yeah I, I mean look i like call of dragons for sure dude for sure dude so we switch back to rock here i, I just have oh i have so much to do tonight I love that there's so much content right now. There's so much content right now. It's different when people are in the room, though. 100%. 100%. Dude, when you can see people in the room and they're if they're getting bored, they're picking their nose or whatever, you're like... All right, I got to change it up. You know if, if they're getting bored. But I was, I was always a really high energy speaker, so I didn't really have that problem. Uh, okay. I really hope this is where all the rallies are happening and that I'm not screwing myself. We'll find out in a second. I gotta join some Barb Fort rallies, babe. Here we go. Come on. Oh god, they're all a zillion miles away. Shit. I screwed myself. Actually, I screwed myself. Nobody's rallying barb forts down here. Yeah, that's awkward. I guess I run a 10 minute rally. We make it a 10 minute rally. And I fill with my own farm <laughs> just to make sure it goes. Dot, dot, dot.
I got wrecked. 31 heads from 60 spins. Uh, 31's not so bad, comma. That's not so bad. Son of a gun. Misclick. Oh, that's a long-ass walk. Uh, I mean, it is what it is. Is is what it is. Get walking. The old farm account over here. The old VIP 17, 83 million power farm account. GG. Dude, I gotta kill so many troops on this thing tomorrow. And in the coming weeks. I gotta I gotta zero the account, man. I, I gotta zero it. Let's kill all the troops. Your farm account is now an alt? My farm account's nuts, dude. My farm account is nuts. There's still so much I need to do on my farm account, too. It's kind of crazy. My KPA on my farm is really, really low, though. It's really bad. Okay. I haven't... Dude, I, I didn't even do the trial of Cow Karak on my farm. It's so bad. How was the testing? Dude, testing was good. Testing was really good. Let's see Zugliang. Yeah, we could talk about him. Zugi Song is the best in Canyon, not Buddha. Oh, for sure, dude. In Canyon, I think you just go Zugi Song, not Buddha Kazug. All right, I need another Barb Fort rally. Actually, yes, yes, Yoda. Yoda, rally, I join you. We ride. Let's freaking go. Okay, but we're the only ones rallying, big poggers. Can we beat the Barb Fort with 584? Or do I need to send more troops, man? That's awkward. I think a lot of people have not ported over to the pass yet. Because they don't need to. Like, they're probably randoming into the zone. Have Dude, they, they haven't even ported over to the pass yet. They're not here. They're, they're, dude, they're not here. Are they even coming through these passes, bro? They, they even coming through here? Bro, I don't know. I, I don't know if they're even coming through. I mean, they haven't ported. They, they barely ported over here, even. They're, they're barely ported over here, even, man. Hello? They're, they're gonna play this KVK, right? What's going on? Nobody's ported by the passes, man. I'm sure they'll port over later. That's crazy, though. Uh, I better join this Yoda rally. With my farm. The thing is that I am, like, pretty sure that you... it's a trick, chat says. I don't know. I mean, 365 doesn't want to reveal which way they're going. I Maybe that's the strategy, right? All right. Here we go. I think I gotta join Yoda's rally. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna join Yoda's rally with the close march, and then I'm gonna send another march to my own rally. I actually don't even need to send a march to my rally. I think we win. I actually think we win with the 800,000. I don't think I need to join it. I think it'll be okay. My rally should be fine. Right, chat? I got, I got support skills on there. I should be fine, right? Oh, that guy's seven minutes away anyways. Oh, what? Yoda sent me home. Oh, Yoda's full enough. All right, fine. I'll, I'll rejoin my own rally. GG. <laughs> GG, GG. Yoda, Yoda doesn't need my pity fill. He's freaking Yoda, bruh. Don't delay my rally. Your max tech, you're hella fine. 
You're hella fine. Cheers to you in Chile. Hey, what's up? Talent tree for Zuge Leong? Yeah, sure, no problem. One second. Talent tree for Zuge Leong is right here, baby. Let me give it to you. Th this is your talents right here. This is it. You breathtaking? No, you breathtaking. Right here. This is what you use. Yeah, if I summon him, I gotta go buy the bundle real quick, though. You, you want, chat, do you want me to go buy the bundles real quick? I could do that. Summon him, buy the bundles. You want me to do that real quick? I could do that. Sure. Sure, we, we could do that. And I could buy my Conqueror as well, too. Let's buy a couple bundles. Confirm. Done. The old writer of history chat. All right. Let me go buy these bundles. The, the real question is, which account am I logged into on my freaking tablet? That's the real question. Hold on. We plug in the tablet real quick. We plug in the old tablet. All right, we switch up the display. Arrangement. Mirror display. Set. And, ooh. Yoda Barb Fort Rally. Bro, he's using XY with Moctezuma. Gosh, bless it. <laughs> XY Moctezuma, bro. Okay, let's go. Ooh, Barb spawned in. Okay, sure. That's normal. This is all normal, bro. Um. All right. Switch this up. We log into my Kingdom 2 account over here. I haven't logged into this account in way too long. I don't want to get kicked out of my alliance. And then... We load up over here. Okay. Boom. Boom. Aha! Aha! We did it, chat. We did it. All right. Uh, we put the spend blocker up. And we start buying Writer of History. Cool, cool, cool. Easy. And uh, after we buy this, we buy Conquer as well. No problem. Conquer as well. Ooh, we could buy Triumvirate Treasures. Let's buy that too, chat. Let's buy it all. Let's buy it all, chat. Let's get some more armaments. You think we're going to get some good armaments? They're doing an arc practice without me? Maybe. I don't need to be there. They know what they're up to. All right, armament bundles too, man. Half a million gems. Yeah, I'm a little bit degen the last couple months with my mobile game spending. I I'm I'm a little bit degen with my mobile game spending the last couple months. Not gonna lie. All right, I keep looking down because I'm doing facial recognition to make all these purchases. All right, cool, 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 easy. Swipe credit card, collect victories, or lose. I don't know. We'll see what happens. Uh, I'm hoping we win. <laughs> it's funny, but like, uh, I mean, I hope we win. Uh, okay, spin blocker goes away. Cool, cool, cool. Um, we can switch back to this. And uh, welcome to my Kingdom 2 account. We'll switch back. Uh, I, don't, I don't even know why I bother clicking the buttons. I don't know. Let's just get that out of here, man. It's not what you're here for. The old Kingdom 2 shenanigans. Here comes Whale Ghoul. Yeah. I mean, hey, look. You know, it's the design of mobile games. 
Is that if you can't beat them with skill, you beat them with your wallet, alright? Let's see if we get some good armaments. Here we go. <laughs> Come on, chat. You know I'm being funny. I'm just being funny. Wedgie formation. Ooh, uh, we got a lot of inscriptions. Trash, 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 trash. Oh, well met. Hello? Unfortunately, I low rolled everything, but at least it's well clad. Even with well clad, that only barely makes up for the low rolls. Uh, enrichment, bro. The only thing that does not enrich me is that inscription. And rebuff? Uh, no. Doesn't, doesn't make the cut. Doesn't make the cut. Let's go see if that's any good, though. I don't, I don't think I used that cab one, but it was really interesting to get. XY. Wedgie formation. Oh! Uh, uh <laughs> dude, they're so similar, it's actually enraging. How are they so similar? That's crazy. So the one I have is, is probably better. Where'd it go? Here. Yeah, the one I, the one I already have on is better. GG. Yeah, well, it was worth a shot. Epley, hey, what's up, dude? Um, yeah, testing was good. Who am I waiting for? Holy cow. Oh, they're almost here. All right, whatever. <gasps> Ooh, Barb Fort Rally? It's right next to me. Do I need another Barb Fort Rally? Uh, I mean, it's close. He, he probably needs a Barb Fort Rally. Yeah, should I help him out? Obi knows what he's doing. If I get a full hospital and no kill on that barb fort, I ain't gonna be happy. But a Minamoto with Nevsky looks like it's probably pretty good. We we probably taken down that fort, baby. Um Okay, let's open the rest of them. Oh! Bro! That's so tragic. Uh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I can see the new ones. God damn it. You have to be kidding me. <laughs> that is so triggering. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, sure. 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 Uh, organized by date. Yeah, let's do that. Uh, so bad. That was the one, right? Yeah, that was the one, chat. Annexer, gold gathering speed, infantry, damage to barbs. GG. Bro, are we gonna win? Or are we gonna lose? Ooh, it's on territory. We get bonus damage. We do get bonus damage, though. Let's freaking go. I get one more Bastion quest. One more Bastion quest only. Uh, may as well be defeating Barbarians for the extra crystals. Is barely any extra, but I'll take it. All right, chat, we winning with 600,000 troops. Do we get the W here? Or are we getting clapped? Uh, oh, we gonna we gonna win, maybe. It's gonna hurt the hospital a little bit, but we gonna win. I hope. Ooh, we looking good, ish. I figured maybe this guy had to get a quest done, so I'd help him out. Chad, are we winning or losing? Uh-oh. This is too close. 
Uh-oh, we might lose. You getting clapped? We could lose this, chat. The longer it goes, the more damage the barb fort deals. One in the chat if we're winning, two in the chat if we're going to lose. Chat says lose Lamau. Oh, we're, we got a savior over here. 220,000 cavalry. All right, can't beat us now. Can't beat us now. Oh, yeah, what the hell are we doing? Let's go up, upgrade Zuge Liang. Gosh, bless it. I'm looking at Barb Fort rallies. What a freaking strange content creator I am. All right, here we go. Skills. 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 Universals into skills. Boom. All right, which skill do I want more? Ah, uh, it doesn't matter. I'm just going to max him anyways. Actually, doesn't matter. I'm just going to max him. All right. Skills. Stars. <laughs> Dude, I'm like looking at Barb Fort rallies when I should be working on Zuge Liang up in here. What the hell is this content creator doing? Max it without a full wheel? Yeah, so pass opens tomorrow, so... Yeah, maybe. Might do that. I might go full mad lad. I probably will. We need to know if he's good at 5515. Well, let me tell you, I got a pass opening tomorrow. So, you know who's not going to test that is definitely me. <laughs> Unfortunately. I just don't have the time. We did 5511 testing earlier in the stream. So, we already did that. He's good. 5511 five, and he's the same as Esong. 5551, five, five, he's probably better than Esong. All right. Progress. Oh, I click the button so fast. Oh my god. Like, break the game. I'm clicking the button so fast. Is he primary or secondary? He's secondary to Boudica. Yeehaw. All right. Here we go. Yeah, his, his, he, you don't even need to have him expertise and his active skill is the same size as Esong. Primary or secondary? It depends. Secondary to Boudica, otherwise primary. And there are commanders where you would still use him secondary, potentially. We did it. We did it. Okay, cool. Talents. Do a little of this. Do a little of that. A little of this. A little of that. I think I go for this rather than normal attack. I mean, it's like very much a toss up, but I think I want to boost his skill damage. I don't know. You end up with one talent point. Did I do that right? Yeah, I think so. Uno talent point. Guess it just goes here. All right, cool. Cool, cool, cool. Easy. Done. Z huge over here. Boom. Wedgie formation. Why not go for latent power? Ooh, civilization leader. Why not go for latent power? Latent power's bad. Not for not for this commander. It's bad. Uh, where you at, Z huge? The old Zuge Liang. 
There's too many commanders, bro. There's, there's too many commanders. I can't. I can't do it anymore. Oh, he's all the way down here? Because he's not glowy yet? Alright, well, we, we gotta fix that. We gotta fix that. So, latent power buffs your additional skill damage that's damage over time. Does he do damage over time? This is not damage over time. He doesn't do any damage over time, man. He doesn't do any damage over time. So it wouldn't it wouldn't be good for him. Skills. Lock. Save. Confirm. And F's in the chat for those universals. Yo, can we get some F's in the chat for these universals right now? Pour one out for those universals. But honestly, I mean, it's freaking Zuge Leon. Like, what's not to love? This is all... This is all... Good stuff, baby. It would kind of suck if I was putting these universals into the wrong commander. Then I'd kind of panic. But instead, we can be calm. Calm with a K. We're good. We're good. All right, cool. Good. And, I mean, I just put him into canyon immediately. Just, that's like an immediate canyon swap out. Even though I don't really... Oh God, I got hit in canyon so much. ay yi yi Immediate canyon swap out. Where you at, Z-Huge? You still at the bottom of the list, bro? Man. Uh, do I have my equipment on? I'll go hit somebody in canyon, sure. Dude, do I have my gear on? Boom, 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 boom. Yeah, I go hit somebody. Uh, yeah, this KVK has ruins, but no ruins fights. They're in your starting zone. I mean, I easy clap here, yeah. There's, like, pretty much very few teams that I lose to on offense, if any. I think I've literally lost one offensive battle in in Canyon since joining the, uh, you know, this KVK. I, I mean, yeah. Whatever. Okay. Sick. Zuge Liang. Skills are deployed. Let's freaking go. Crystals. I bought crystals earlier. Yeehaw. Uh, but I need more crystals, man. I need more crystals so badly. I'm so close to getting these crystals. And these weekly challenges are not going to be reset in time. Yeah, there's there's no more there's no more ways to to get there. All right. Kind of need to make this decision about what civilization I'm going to change to. While I wait, I'll just queue up like an hour worth of stuff just to not be like wasting. Oh yeah, 69 troops. That's what we do. That's it. An hour worth of troops right there. Just have a little something running, you know? Just have a little something. Okay. What are we doing now, chat? What else needed doing? I'm about to get the Mountain Warfare Bundle. How long till that pops up? It's probably almost here. Five minutes. Holy. Chat, I guess we wait the five minutes and then I buy Mountain Warfare, right? Like, we just wait five minutes, then do Mountain War. That's That's gotta be the play here, right? The skill animation is pretty insane. It's pretty cracked. Hello? There's, like, nothing I needed at the courier station. So awkward. Show Guan equipment, please. Let's freaking go, baby. Yo, do we really have 1,583 people watching still? Do you want me to go craft something? I mean, we have so many people watching. You deserve a craft, don't you think? You, you want me to go refine?
You want me to go refine something for you? You want me you want me to do a little refine for you? Chat, what are the chances here? 11% chance. Chat, this is just going to cost me 120 materials. I'm just going to get dunked on here. But whatever, this is what you're here for, right? You ready? You got this? Man, I don't got this. I don't got this. I don't got this, chat. I don't got this. Cool, good stuff. That's awesome. Big W. Heck W. All right. Uh, cool, 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 cool. Very cool. Very cool. Such coolness. So we buy the Horn of Fury blueprint again. Confirm. Bit of a yikes. And I probably buy Ring of Doom. Well, I mean, dying a little inside. Chat. I got plus 25 on every single one of these. Do you know how expensive this was? Do you know how much money I put into this? My luck is trash. You're goddamn right my luck is trash. Oh my god, that's so many materials. Alright, so we go engineering, right, chat? Yo, we go engineering, right? Chat, we go we go engineering, right? Um, what do you think, chat? We go archers? Don't we go archers? HMB boats. Thank you for the super after testing your Freudian slip of Z Huge. Casement to be the appropriate nickname. Thanks for all the testing. Can't wait to see the garrison and rally. Chat, do we go archers here? Or do we go cav? Actually asking. Uh, so I could go cav. But like cav's not really meta right now. Except for Garrison, but I don't have that Garrison. I mean, it's currently on Nevsky, but anybody could wear it. So the thing is, for Cavalry, I already have the Crit Sword. And I already have the Crit Helmet for the KVK Helmet. Hold on, we gotta ask Cortex. I don't know, man. This is dumb. Why is my nickname C dot 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 in Discord? That's weird. What the heck's going on? Bruh. Yo, hey, Chadsky. So what do I do here? Um, so I have options, right? You set up the APB. On the one hand, on the gonna, one hand, how do you not have this already planned out? You plan everything out. You literally. Well, just so I was planning on just doing archers because, like, I have you know the archer set plus. I just do this. On the other hand, I have cavalry with like crit KVK weapon and crit KVK helmets. 
But but I'm not doing anything with cavalry this KVK no. is the thing. So archers you don't you don't have the you, first of all crit KVK helmet and weapon for archers is not necessarily better. <laughs> we so know I that. Well, I mean it is really good though. But you think I should just it's do true. archers, right? Because the well, archer set's I... already pretty good, and I have that crit iconic, so what the heck, just go archers? Because we know because archers the... are about to be cracked. Well, here's the thing, bro. You're, I mean, your you're six-set archer gear with the 5% health boost is like, like, that's just as good as the KDK set credit. I mean, it just is. The, the uh, health is. All right, so I'm going archers. But then all you need is a ring, right? I and mean, yeah. they're there. Yeah. So we go archers. Yeah. And guess what you're going to do? I'm going to go try a critter ring now. You're going to go try to critter ring. And then uh -huh. you're going to put, you're going to put Z-Huge in a flag with Heraclius. And you're going to run full archers and you're going to wreck people. Bro. I'm I thought I was supposed to be the infantry rally lead up in here. You are. But hey. Yeah, he's so cracked, dude. He's he's like, like it's it's dumb. All right, one of these rings of doom. There it oh. is. Let's go. Where is it? You got one at fifty, right? Oh, twenty-five. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How many prints? I'm gonna have? switch them around. Just real, real quick switcheroo. I got too many rings. Where the hell are? I got too many damn rings, bro. Equip. Yeah. <laughs> Yo. Rings. It rings everywhere. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Chad Ski! Yo, we getting this crit or what? We just dumping all my materials for dog wait, doo? -doo? Wait, Probably. So, so do you have two prints or just one? I got one print, bro. Man, you crit this, you do realize what you're signing up for, right? Nope. What did I sign up for? Uh, hey, Chisco, we're already at the merge with 846. Will you come over here and get us in the spot with your, with your amatory Liang? <laughs> God dang it. That's what you're getting. Well, I mean, if that's what I'm getting, then that's what I'm getting. We ride, MFers. We critting this thing. Let's go. You, you need to do a test with him and Heraclius and an obelisk. I'm telling you, bro. I mean. Okay. Here we go. Chat, we critting this? Hey. Shazel. Shazel's going to rally archers. <laughs> hey. Oh, what's up, Shazel, dude? How's it going? Yo, let's put some hype in the chat. We need hype. Lots right? of hype. Say literally anything you want. Just put text in the chat right now. Elevate the hype. Let's go. Now I'm gonna put the song on. The song never works, but we're gonna do it anyways. Crab break? Nah, we crab raved earlier. It was pretty fun. It was a good time. But what we need to do, put on my favorite song. Because at least when I if I if I don't crit, I got my favorite song running. Alright. Here we go. Gosh darn it. Here we go! Come on! The pass opens in 12 hours. Chiss School Gaming in his hour of need summons all of his luck and skill to in this great moment of need get an item of immense strength. The Crit Ring of Doom. Come on. Plus 50 is not bad, but it ain't crit, oh, okay. man. I, I, I'm, I'm a couple seconds behind. Okay, we'll take it. We'll take it. It ain't crit, but at least it's plus 50. Jesus. Ugh. <laughs> Your luck sucks. My luck <laughs> does suck. <laughs> 50 is not bad. The worst, the absolute worst is to be stuck on 50. Uh, with a 12% chance to crit. That's the absolute Gross. Worst. Man. 
All right, 365, you get off lucky this time. You get off lucky this time. GG, chat. All right, hey, so Chad, I, uh, Chad's gay. I got an iconic crystal to put somewhere. Put it out easy. Put it on the freaking horn, bro. Go. Well, the horn? No, that's already iconic, bro. Easy clap. The one that you just critted? Okay. Yeah, that was already you iconic. Got a, you got a second one. Let me see. Let me see. What do you got? Actually, sh shucks. Yo, yo, no, 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 no. You know what I should do is actually set up my gear for this fight. I actually... Yo, chat, let's figure out my field gear. Hold up. I actually haven't done this. Let's get the field gear set up here. Uh, I haven't looked at this in forever. I'm actually a little anxious. Uh, okay, let's go here for now. Let's get let's get the field gear set up. Heraclius, dude, get that crap I'm off, just, bro. I, I'm, I'm, I went ahead and Max Liang, and I'm just playing with him. You can't get it, so. That's cool. I beat, I beat Cortex. He's getting mad at me. Okay. Field gear. Let's get the field gear set up. Trajan, get over here, bruh. Wait, you got a, you got a shield there? <coughs> That's not good. Ooh, Trajan. I gotta fix some of this gear. We'll get the XY gear. Okay, it's probably this gear. Horn on XY is really good, but I don't have enough horns to go around, man. Need more horn. Um, cool. So now, okay. So now the gear is deployed. All right, it's so on pretty good here. What what accessory? Oh, I got one more horn. I mean, between horn on Guan and horn on XY, I think we put that on Guan, man. That's where it's gotta go. I mean, it's gotta go on Guan, right? Like that's that's good stuff. Oh yeah, that's good stuff. Hit that, let's hit that silence first. Got to. So, dang, I mean, this gear is looking shiny, bro. This is looking <laughs> shiny. Um, where do we put the Ooh, iconic crystal? Bro, jeez, hey. I, th I think I put it on the ring that I almost crit. Or I could just put it on something that's already crit. Well, the ring that you almost crit, you're getting value now. And you know the minute you get into the next KVK, boom, you're going again. Here's the upside of putting it on this ring. Because you're right, I'm going to do it anyways at some point. And a ring is versatile. Could go anywhere. And we know I'm going to crit it at some point. But it would let me rally and garrison and have iconic gear on both the rally no. and the garrison. That makes sense? Okay. So so if you're saying like, hey, Chiskel, put your Xeno Flob in the flag or your Flob Correct. in the flag. And also, then rally we, with Liang. Yes. Yep. Yeah. We, need, we yep. need a Henry Liang rally or a, yep. or a Budita Liang. Okay. Got yep. It. That's, what it, that's the situation where that would be value. So that's what we set up for, I think, right? Bruh. Yeah, I think that was a yes. Yang. That bruh was a yes. All right, cool. Iconic <laughs> it is. Liang in Canyon is, like, unfair. It's not, it's not even fair. Just you have played for years. Your questions are noob questions. That's why people watch me. I'm here to serve all the noobs. Absolutely. This 100%. is why new players like watching my streams. I answer all their questions. Listen, listen. Why do you think I have so many subscribers? Bro, like... It, it's all the new people who are like, he asks the same questions I ask. <laughs> 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 okay. Like, We're in like, a good spot here. Gear's you ready. Gotta Dude, you got to be careful. Armaments are get... ready. Equipment get... is ready. You got to be careful, though, because you get these... You know, honestly, you get these, you know, these uber experienced guys and gals that have been playing for four years and they're just over it. They know every, they know more than everybody else, but they're not, they haven't been relevant lately because they really haven't maxed Crystal Tech in like a year and a half. But they still want you to remember how great they used to be. And they don't like it when, you know, new players, new whales, new, new kingdoms, they don't like, they don't like, it, you know, and they, it's just a bunch of fucking.
So excuse me. It's just a bunch of retired <laughs> retired retreads that get that get angry when when people enjoy the game and enjoy the game and ask new questions and are learning the game and it's just it kind of drives me nuts. I'm like, oh, hey, that's great. You were you were really important three years ago. Okay, but Chadsky, we... I think I'm gonna inscribe this thing, bro. Oh, this chorus thing, master. Right? So I don't love like a normal attack inscription, but it's the only one I have and oh. it's nearly perfect stats and I'm actually using it. Bro, oh, that's, that's legit. Like almost 7% of stats with, with a percent normal. Yeah. Stat? That's fantastic. Yeah. Do we inscribe this? Yes. No. Ask community. Well, I think the answer is yes. I think we do. Well, you can only put it on an epic. And Correct. Two point five is the best, the highest you can get. Yeah. You 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 literally have the highest you can get. Like, well, I by, almost have the highest. I'm missing point six percent of stats. Yes. Out of I, also, I could have had all damage, right? But like, we look at the armaments I have, and it's like, uh, I think I inscribed that, bro. Because it's actually something I'm using currently. Look, it's like, it's my second best one. It only goes on an epic. It doesn't go on a legendary. I can't inscribe it there. I just put it over here. Yeah, where else is absolutely. it going? Absolutely. Look, look, where else is it going? Oh, look at the cavalry stuff. What do I got? What is going on a full referendum about old retread players that get mad? And it's not going on that, anything over here. <laughs> You're totally ignoring it. <laughs> it's not going on it's not going on this cab stuff all right is it going on an infantry thing anytime soon uh ooh. A actually hey well, hold up hold up wait a minute chat hey well, hold up <laughs> actually i got an infantry one over here chadsky ooh, actually this one see this one's not as good though 1.9 2.2 1.9 i don't know it's kind of beatable now you put it on the put it on the never one put it on the archer one um which of these is better oh 3.1 and 2.1 oh no i think this is probably better anyways the one i have on my guan all right so we, we put it on the nebu right like i think we deploy it and just call it a day you know if armored. that was like a if that was like an armored or a fit or a vitality or something like that Oh, hold up. For the Guan, wait a minute. This, what is this? This is... 5.5... 7.4% stats. 7.4 compared to what I have over here? Oh? Yeah, that's me. Six, no, 6.8. What? Oh. Yeah, actually, this is... But it doesn't have health. Health is pretty good. Eh, I can see why I'm kind of using the health one. But 0.6% of extra stats is pretty good. But there are t it's all attack stats. Kind of dog doo-doo. Yeah, here come the scouting. Jeez. All right, so we're doing this one on Nebu, right? This, I'm inscribing this. Because eventually yeah, it's just going to get replaced with a legendary anyway. It's like it's actually not going to matter. Probably after this pass opening. Yeah, it, 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 for the viewers out there, like this is what this guy does. He, he literally talks himself out of it, talks himself into it, talks himself out of it. Then ask the question. Like, this is why you were probably so good at, like, helping businesses develop. <laughs> I ask good questions, bro. We ask good questions up in here. Mountain Even Warfare is here, says like... Redline. It's true. We got a... All right, 82% say we inscribe here. That's that's an easy slam dunk. We ride. Oh, that's the wrong one. Oh, hello? Wait, 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 wait. We're looking at infantry stuff again for some reason. Uh -oh. What happens? Mountain, Mountain Warfare? Let's go. Oh, I had to back out and go back in. That was almost a disaster. Okay. A uh, chat I've never inscribed before. I've actually never done this. Ever, have, ever how many do you have? You got a whole bunch then, right? I only got a couple, man. 
Well, go recycle those legendaries you're not using. Your double inscription gathering legendary. <laughs> Woo! We doing it. All right, I inscribed. That's what it looks like. We've done it. Let's go. Cheers, Ichi. I appreciate you. Hey, what um, would you say cool. normal, normal attack damage is? What do you what would you say that is? Because that's it's much better than one percent attack. So oh yeah. Is it I like, mean is it... So well So we'd say like one percent all damage is kind of worth like two percent attack, right? Two percent health is what you say. Yeah, okay. Yeah. So this is kind of like worth one percent health. It, it's half it's half of what all damage does, right? Yeah. So, count it as half. I mean, that's a really rough rule of thumb, but here we are. Um, in terms of my legendaries, I probably do have some legendaries I could recycle. Just, just do do me a favor. Don't just just hit the recycle button. Click on something. Anything. You're not recycling it. Just I have click 65. I would need to turn in a hundred things. Go to select all. Go to select all. Real quick. Oh, I'm not even yeah. gonna. Okay. We'll just see how many you have. Just go to select all. 120. Let's go. You got it right there. Let's go hit it. <laughs> You're crazy. <laughs> You're crazy, man. Oh my god. <laughs> I do probably it. should try, but we'll see. Uh, Sue. Tell this guy to do it. Like red lines all in. He's gonna get Mountain Warfare. He's all in. Like, Wait, let me go on, buy Mountain it. Warfare, man. Let's go buy Mountain Warfare. Let's go buy Mountain Warfare. Oh, uh, y'all are too much. <laughs> this turned into a hype stream so fast. Let's, doing... So I definitely get the seventh march here, you know? Like, I gotta get that. But where do I put my other tech is an interesting question. Well, make sure your improved morale is, is level 10, because I'm not getting in a flag of yours. I mean, come on. Yeah, we can level up the improved morale. Let me uh, switch the scene over. Uh, okay, that's not doing what I wanted it to do. One second. We fix that. Apparently when the device slept, it decided not to do the mirrored display anymore. I, I don't know if I'm going to get the rights for my 7th March, bro. I don't know what I'm going to do here. Or my eight, I guess my 8th March. Wait, what? I don't know if I got enough rights to do Ritz. to put everything on Ritz, right? You need more Ritz. Riz, bro. You need more Riz. Hello. Is that Peace Key? Peace, she, she maxed Liang. Totally. That's why I'm here. I have a question. If that's Yo. Okay. Hey, Adrian, thank you for the super chat. Is it still worth it to expertise Boudica if you pair her with an expertise Liang? Yes. That yes. is the number one archer pair in the game right now. So, yes. Uh, Budoka Liang, very good. If you're using only one Archer March, do that. All right, peace. What's your question? I am ready. Uh, well, I just wanted to double check with you guys about my rally. Um, okay. I, I lovingly call him Z Huge. Um, Z Huge. <laughs> Let's go. Z Huge. <laughs> oh, and I'm sorry. There's geese and a thunderstorm where I am right now. Um, Z huge Boudica or Z huge Henry. Um, what auxiliary skills are we thinking? I was going to change it to Caesar. Yeah, Caesar Saladin was what I was thinking, and I'm double checking. That sounds right. The only other thing you consider f is Richard. Richard, like Richard, right? So it's either Caesar <clears throat> or Richard. I personally think the Richard is slightly better. Uh, but it kind of depends on how much you think they're going to swarm. I think they're going to swarm a lot. Yeah, I mean, I, <laughs> I think mean, the Richard is just everything. better, <laughs> but the Caesar gets pretty good, too. That's more prickly. Oh, here we go. Zhang Honda. How would that look out? Mm. Mm. Okay. All right, we switch back to the main account over here on the PC. So, would you, would you put... Would you put... Caesar on Henry, because Henry's got some of that normal attack well, boost. Well, so I don't know if it's supposed to be Boudicca or Henry. I feel like they answered that in our captain chat, though, right? Yeah, I think it was in... Well, you don't have to say out loud form. what it is, though. That's our secret technology. 
No, but whatever it is, I think that between Caesar and Richard, those are the, the two considerations for sure. And I don't think either will be bad. And I don't know which mm -hmm. is better, but I think it's Richard. Okay. Don't you have a special inscription? You got Woo! a little bit of wedge yes, stuff sir. going on? Okay. I have a special inscription, yes. You have a special inscription for Wedge? Yo, you wicked. Mm hmm I do. Um, Dang. It is the balanced, increases normal attack damage resistance of the wielder's troop by 3.5. Upon reaching 80% rage, their troop deals 8% extra skill damage for 3 seconds. Cooldown mm -hmm. price. Yo, let's go. That's wicked. All right, I'm unlocking yeah. March number 7. Gotta do it. Nice. Yeah. I mean, I could have maxed improved morale. Oh, no. But, bro, I, bro, March number seven, bro. I, I like you can't rally morale. if you don't have field. I got to help with the field. <laughs> Just go. It's going to we're going to be in this thing for 90 minutes. and It's going to be like cheesy pants. Get over here and dap garrison this thing. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it. OK, I'm going to go back and console Cortex. Um, because Chad's being a bully to him in Canyon, so. Oh, no, GG. <laughs> okay, bye. <laughs> See ya. And I gotta get that 7th March. And the advantage of getting 7th March is I immediately pick up Surprise Strike, which is gonna give me another 2% all damage anyways, bro. So it's fine. Let's go. Yeah, it's fine. Surprise Strike, your troops deal more damage to, I think, garrisons and rallies. So, perfect. How did you come up? What? Well, let me ask you something, just for the history buffs out there. Okay. What? Why is it called a writ? What is a writ? Uh, is a that? writ is like an important document. Like, it, does it at least come usually from, like, like notarizing you to do something? I would think that's what a writ is. Keep me honest, chat. So it's basically like, hey. I have this writ that it bestows authority takes... upon you to do something. I think. Let's look it up. Writ. Writ definition: a form of written command in the name of the court or other legal authority to act. Ooh. So there you go. That was pretty close. Yeah. It's good. See also Riz R I Z Z. <laughs> 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 okay, so I, now I take improved morale. I think I gotta take this all damage. It's a prerequisite anyways to proceed. And like, as much as I want to do special medicines, that's the, probably the last thing I should take, unfortunately. Yeah, unfortunately, they, they, it's they, gotta they, be the last thing Special medicines, I take. you have all the freaking, you have all the RSS you need. Yeah, I mean, look, I, hey, look, I love saving resources more than most people, but I'm a rally lead. I gotta be responsible. I'm a garrison captain. I gotta be responsible. I gotta prioritize this all damage. So it just is what it is. If I was a pure fielder, I could get the nice things and enjoy them. But instead, I gotta do this all damage, bro. And I might be able to max it, but my call to arms is gonna be low. But it just is what it is. Like, I think I have to take the all damage, right? See, even Whoopi's like, yo, be responsible, bro. The responsible thing is to take the all damage. The irresponsible thing is to take call to arms or special medicine, I think, unfortunately. Pop-ups. I don't think there's any pop-ups left to help me out on this one. Do you... There's some... No, I think you're good. Yeah, I got all pop-ups. I got the dailies. I, I literally bought the $35 bundle every gosh bless day. Ooh, hey, hey, oh, I get saved by the game. The game is making me be selfish and get called to arms first. Hey, chat, hey, game's making me do it. Game's um, making me do it. I can't, I can't sure, get improved morale. I gotta get called no, to arms. Dude, do not hit, hit this. Don't let people help you, bro. Oh, gosh, you're letting them help you. Oh, no. You gotta just hit, hit the speeds. What are you doing? The helps? Wait, wait, wait. The yes. helps count against my help count for the day? Yes! What are you are doing? You, hold on, are you sure? I mean... 
I'm pretty sure. <laughs> no, it's only with healing troops, bro. It's only with healing troops. No, no, sure? no, 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 no. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so yeah. you don't want to use one of your 19,000 eight-hour research speedups? We're good. After being helped with healing troops 1,000 times in a single day, you're good. Hospital helps are different. We're good. They only, they only F up your healing. We're good. Can I do, I can do another level of call to arms. I can get to eight. So close yet so far from where I need to be. Well, is what it is. Um, how do I feel about this technology position? Pretty good. I mean, I got 2% damage over here. If I had done it differently, I might have been able to squeeze out 1% more damage. But I wouldn't have a 7th March. And I feel like the 7th March is value to the team still. I also oh might have more March God. cap. I mean, you could make an argument that the 7th March is a mistake. But I think the amount of fielding we're going to be doing makes it super worthwhile to have the 7. Because the thing is that, like, it, it it would take days to get that 7th March. How long does it take to get... Um, I think I think this was the right play. I think I made the right call. How long does it take to get 1.2 million crystals by Barbie? Three hours? Maybe uh, four? I'm going to be busy for about three hours. You, so. You're going to be busy, brother. Yeah. You can, you're going to be busy. Oh, dang it. Oh, oh yeah. What am I and doing the thing is, don't, don't heal your troops. I'm gym healing. Let's go. Uh, well, I wouldn't do that. You, what you do is you heal them, but you do it like kind of overnight, and then don't push help, and you'll be fine. Although my hospital is going to have to be empty to switch civilizations, it's going to be interesting. GG. GG. Bit of a GG. Guess I can go back out and be gathering now. Um, yo, wicked. This is this is fun. What else do we have to do now? Spend a bunch of crystals. Ooh, get some rewards. That's cool. Can I? I'm gonna. Re no, I'm not gonna do it. You would be so mad at me. <laughs> uh, where is Richard? <laughs> Richard? Richard's gone. I can't use Richard in the field. He's gone. Nope, you can't AOE barb farm. You're never gonna yeah. kill enough barbs if you try to AOE barb farm. You just oh, forget no, about I that. I, no, I ain't doing that. You know yeah, I mean. that's never gonna work. Um, ooh, I gotta switch Trajan from Echelon to Wedge. We going Wedgie, baby. 100% we going Wedge. What are my options here? Swift? Nah, I don't need Swift. I need stats. This is more stats. I'm gonna replace this. Do I not have something better? Iron wall? I use Take the plus normal attack damage. Now I don't have Boudica. What is going on? Ooh. Alright, I guess I go with this one. Actually, wait, the 2.5% march speed there is actually kind of good. I take it back. Because it's all troops, right? That's actually good. Nah, the march speed was good. Ooh, let's dude, we should march speed balance right now. That's what I should do. Let's go look at that. We should make my presets. Ooh, baby. March Ooh, speed baby, balance. These marches. Let's go march speed balance. You going Trajan CPO? No. Um the so reason that I'm not doing that is that I um, am using auxiliary skills and with March speed, I think I'm going to get my Trajan Ethel to just freaking fly, man. So you're going Juan, Sargon, Skippy, Park? We, we don't. I'm going to have to change around all my presets. Is there... I got all these arc presets running around here. Test summary, please. Um, 
it's real simple. You remember how busted Nevsky was when he came out? That's the level this guy's at. You can literally put him in a flag to Garrison. You can rally with him. He's met in the field. Like, like all you want. He's wildin'. He's really good. I'm gonna leave the rest of this to you, bro. I've gotta go barb my face off for about. You sure do. Yeah, I'm so mad. I'm gonna barb my Ooh. face off too, man. Hundred percent. Real quick, if I, if I go six marches, uh huh? Because I'm the team player that does the improve morale. Okay. Okay. If I go six marches. Oh, um, this is so slow. Ugh. I'm gonna put that. I'm gonna put that Honda behind Guan. I'm gonna run Sargon Skippy. I'm gonna run uh, X Y William Ned Jones, and then. What for archers? What did you decide on? What are we doing? Uh, you got options: Boudica Art or Boudica E Song. Get that art out of here. I don't do art. Okay. I'm not very so Boudica E Song, and then do you have Henry? No, I've got Nebu. I like okay, Nebu. yeah, Nebu. Uh, you do Zuge Leong with Nebu. Ideally, Zuge primary, but really, yeah. So the the advantage. Oh God, this is the problem. Dude, my rally march is the problem. It's so slow. My rally march is 12 minutes and 17 seconds. Oh, it's so much slower than everything. What do you mean your rally march? So, I'm not gonna be that guy who's like, oh, hold on guys. Give me 10 minutes to switch my armaments and equipment to set the rally. Oh, I gotcha, I gotcha. So my field march is my rally march, for better or worse, probably for worse. I might need to reconsider that. Anyways, so it's really slow, a lot slower than my other marches because, you know, the talents are all not march speed. But how, dude, let's see this Trajan Ethel. This thing should fly. This thing's going to be crazy. <laughs> so, okay. um, yeah, ideally, Zugliang is the primary because. You want to hit everybody with the damage dealt reduction as fast as possible. That's why. All right, let's go look at this long walk again. See how long it'll be. How's the Trajan look compared to all my other marches? 1123. I mean, it ain't bad for Trajan. It's not as good as my other stuff, unfortunately. It's not as good as I thought it would be. You're gonna be fine. With the it's Alex skill on there. I will see you tomorrow, buddy. It's gonna be fun. It's gonna be really fun, man. Looking forward to it. Are you uh, firing up the stream about 11 o'clock Eastern or 10 o'clock Eastern? Uh, probably a little before that, you know, just a little before the action. Can I, let me, I just want to do a quick for science. Yeah, what's up? Can I get, can I get a poll? If, if you gave, you know, six, 10, 24 hour, if you gave within a day's notice of a time you're starting a stream, would people be more likely to thumbnail it, to watch it and schedule it or does it matter? I just want to know. I know you don't want to do this. Oh, God, look how slow he is. He's so ah, slow. So, so what are my options? My options are to be like constantly changing my armaments around every time we're going to rally. No, nah, bro, just go with it. I mean, what's going to happen? Who do you got with him in the field? I you could. Got... So, okay, there, there is one option, right? So how much march speed is on Sargon? 15? I thought it was only like oh, it's 15 I mean you only get 5% more on Honda it's not worth it it's not worth it uh, if we look at my other armaments how do they look if you're gonna rally or you, if you're gonna rally it's target good. call right the only other option you have is to put no, nah, because you got KDK helmet, KDK weapon, never mind. 
I was going to say, you can put the four piece attack on your Tart and give a little bit more punch to the to call Tart. So, whatever. I think my armaments are probably, I already have the best ones selected here. Deflector seems really good. Take 3% less skill damage. That seems quite good. Um, and then this one is inf health, inf defense. Yeah, I mean, we're good there. Okay, broski. Gotta run. Hey, I'll catch you later, brother. All right, man. Cheers, man. Um, I'm kind of tempted to change my Trajan build to use Cage of Thorns. I feel like that's a good idea, actually. I need some talent resets up in here. Um, let's open 170 magic chests and see if I get some talent resets. What do you think, chat? You think we get some talent resets up in here, man? I feel like the answer is yes. Come on. Yeah, 15 talent resets. Yo, we good. Why am I wedging my Trajan? Because Trajan barely benefits from Echelon, man. Barely. Barely. Think about it. What does he do? Echelon, where you at, bro? Percentage-based buffs are multiplied by 1.2 with a maximum of 5%. All right, so if I go Echelon, what happens? What happens? On Trajan, it'll be... Wait a minute, let me read that again. Maximum increase of 5% of their value. Right. So we're looking at 5% more skill damage. For three seconds. And that's it. The secondary doesn't benefit. Nothing. And my armaments that I get for Wedge are all really good. And the secondary that I'm going to use is going to be Ethel, who does more skill damage all the time, man. So if I go to Echelon, what do I have? Let's compare. For Echelon, I have 2.5% all damage. That's actually pretty good. 5% defense, 1.9 health, alert and hardy. 2.5% health, 1.5% counterattack. For Wedge, what do I got? 6.3 defense, 6.6 .6 health, 1.9 attack, Swift, Armored, and Deflector? I mean, I feel like I got good ones here. In Canyon, when I'm using Mulan, there's like no question, right? Because the secondary is buffing everybody too. But Trajan, I don't know. Four marches get the benefit of 5% skill damage for three seconds. Right. And it's not even his own march that benefits from Echelon, by the way. It's only the other marches. I feel like with the Ethel, that's pretty good. Um, let's see here. Let's do a little comparison real quick. I think this is going to make no difference. But if I were to go here... What is it? 10, min 10 minutes and 36 seconds. Alright, let me just try this one other way real quick. Uh, there's no way to upgrade Echelon. Change out the secondary, just real quick. Just a quick little checkeroo. Doesn't really matter what the 
composition of troops is. It's got all the different types. Ten thirty four. That's pretty much the same. That's pretty much the same. The testing already happened. You can scrub back in the stream. We spent a solid two hours testing. Yes, yeah, the same. We did test Zuge Leong. You can literally just scrub back in the stream and the testing is there. Um, I have these pop-ups. Yeah, I don't need these. I don't need stars, chat. Chat, we're good on stars. Kiddish, it's not actually possible to upgrade Echelon. Formations are not upgradable. Inf main, should I expertise Sargon or the new archer? New archer. Almost certainly new archer is the pick. I don't know what the rest of your lineup looks like, but it's probably new archer. Final result. Oh, new commander is great, dude. New commander is really, really good. 10 out of 10 can recommend. He is good. 5511, and he's about as good as your Esong double relic. Anything more than 5511, and he's going to be better than Esong double relic, in my opinion. No idea when the ability to change armament stats is coming out, unfortunately. What does it mean by a max of up to 5%? So they, they take whatever percent you buff by, multiply by one point... Well, how, how exactly does that work? You basically take... 120% of that value. Aye, aye, aye. And it'll give you a boost. Here. Where the total will only be at most 5% more than where you started. So if the buff is 25%, it's not 1.2%. That's actually not how it reads. It's 1.2, if I remember correctly. So 25% times 1.2 becomes 30% max of 5. Should I max Boudica or ZL first? Probably ZL. Okay, what do we need to do here, chat? I feel like we did the overwhelming majority of the stuff we need to do for Rise of Kingdoms. I feel like we've done it. Like, I gotta go run around and degen on barbs for a bit. That's true. Kiddish, did that help? I know I didn't explain it terribly well. Yeah, it's, 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 see, it's 1.2x. There's no percentage on that one. That's why. You were a little confused on that. What about the update? You mean the update I made a video about like uh, three or four days ago? That update? Yeah, I think I covered that one. Uh, God, there's so much crap taking up the screen here. This guy? Yeah, this is the mail I think that you're referring to. Okay. I think we're ready for tomorrow. The only thing I have regrets on is how slow my Tata Gibbon Ziad is. I'll be honest. That triggers me. It will be a problem. Especially at pass opening. God, it's so slow. What questions y'all have about Zuge Liang? 
Zuge Leong with Boudica is exactly as cracked as we thought it would be. Would you bench Alex for Honda? Kind of depends on your setup. I probably would, personally, but there's a lot of people who wouldn't. I really like area of effect damage. Big fan. If I have Max Isong, should I go for Zuge Leong first or Boudica for the March speed? Ooh. That's tough. Boudica's only got 10% March speed, though, if we're being honest. I feel like you probably go for Zuge Leong first. That becomes the priority. I don't know video games if it works that way, but in all the testing we did, Boudicca Zuge Liang was just way a cut above every other pair. If you're using a second Archer March, it is either Henry with Zuge Liang or Nebu with Zuge Liang. Talent tree, here's your talents, do this. No worries, Ben, uh, Tanya, no worries. Epley, what's up, dude? My alt has Ramsey, Zsong, Boudica, and Zuge. How would you pair it? Oh, it's kind of tricky, isn't it? Probably Boudica, hmm. Probably Boudica with Song and then Ramsey's with Zuge Liang. That way you split the debuff clearing. You definitely need to split the Boudica and the Ramses for the March Speed perks. No Whistling Arrows. If you're going to rally, I think you go for that. For fielding, people are just kind of waking up to the fact that like, hey, wait a minute, Generating Rage is actually just cracked. So I think Skill Tree is really good. I might even switch my Nebu while I'm at it. I think I switched my Trajan around. To this build so that I have the slow. And the other switch I wanted to make is probably on my Nebu. I'm not rallying with Nebu primary. I kind of want to go for this and just switch to it. Generate a ton of rage, man. Pass opens tomorrow? Pretty early. Like 15 UTC. This build's lack of march speed makes me so sad. I want a field build so badly. I mean, one way I could do it is if I look at Sargon... And I go Sargon primary and then Tadaka Bin Ziyad secondary. Right? Then I could run a field build. Right? We could do one of these bad boys. Kind of like this. I'd still have to switch armaments and equipment around, but it wouldn't be as bad at the start, anyways, of the pass opening. Um, mm, no, nah, I wouldn't do that. We're close, but not quite there. We go like this. We gotta get this. We gotta get this. We gotta get this. We get, uh, probably this bad boy over here. Then I end up with eight talent points, huh? We probably go... Like, if I wanted a march speed build, this is probably the way that we run it. Like this. Why don't I expertise Zuge Leong? I probably will tomorrow. We'll see.
We just go like this. This gives you more speed by like a long shot. Any idea when the ability to change armament stats is coming out? No, I don't know. So the advantage of doing this is that at least I don't have to switch quite as much around. This is probably worth considering for tomorrow. Right? So we call this speed. I'm sure I have a version of this build on Guan. Templated already. Oh, see? This is how I did it on Guan. What did I do here? Ah, uh, yeah, see, I went for Feral Nature on Guan. I could have had even more March Speed on Guan, and I didn't take it. If I wanted a pure fielding build, though, I could switch to this. See, I, I, I have the <laughs> chat. We arrived at the exact same build I normally use. Would you look at that? Yeah, pure field fielding build. I mean, it gains... 6% over here and 6% over here is pretty big. But it's making sacrifices that I don't know that I want to make. Like, when you're swarming a garrison, bro, this is good. Like, the feral nature is high value. When you're at a pass opening, bit of a rip. So what I could do is we put the Sargon on that build. This is kind of annoying. But... We take we we could run for field like the Sargon is the primary. Let's let's just give this a shot and see talents because we know that Sargon rallying is not actually a thing, right? So I also have one talent point left. Hello, how do I have one talent point left? Kind of awkward. Uh, guess I just put it over here. I can put it over here. It's a debuff. Debuffs are nice. Kind of weird. I feel like I'm missing something, but I'm not. In the Guan build, though, I put it in the other tree, right? Where did it go? Where did I put it in this tree? I have one talent point. Oh, okay. Yeah, sure. I have one talent point to spare. Put it up over here. Debuffs are nice. Um. Okay. Yeah, Quan also had a point left. So if we use this speed build. I suppose the defense is maybe better. Just take half a percentage of defense. I don't know. I guess we take half a percent of defense. Okay. We go like this. Let's see how much this improves the walk time. All right, chat, you ready for this? Here's the walk time if I run it as it's built to rally. Oh, uh, you know what the problem is, chat? No, 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 no. The problem is the stupid auxiliary skills. Even if I do this, I don't have the aux skills to support it. We can see how much it improves the situation, but the auxiliary skills are still the issue. It's 1125 to walk there versus... The problem is the auxiliary skills. Those are so annoying right now. But see, if I run it the other way... Dude, we watch this. Ten 
10 minutes and 26 seconds. Whoo, that's a lot faster, man. That's a lot faster. But then I got auxiliary skill problems. That's the real issue. The equipment won't make that much of a difference on his march speed. But if I do it this way, I just don't have to switch anything. I'm gonna hate it at pass opening. I can tell you already. Pass opening's tomorrow. It's happening. All right, chat. Here's what we need to do. I should get some gatherers out, first of all. But then what we need to do is open up Call of Dragons and... I already dropped the money to buy the bundle. But we go and we record a video. That's what we're gonna do. We're gonna make a video. Let's gather these for now. You may be like, wait, what happened to all your gatherers? They're all on auxiliary skills, man. Is what it is. The gathering is not really what's important. Eleven hours till pass opening. Why Tadek Ibn Ziyad primary? Because that's what I'm gonna rally with. That's why. Let's just um bang out another hundred of these for now. Till I make my decision about what sieve to run. Already seven marches? Oh hell yeah, bro. Hell yeah, bro. So as promised, go Tata Gibbons Yad Pakal. Yeah, I will for rallying, but not for fields. For field, I gotta get that Sargon going, man. You can keep your best armament on him and don't play with it. And another pair with weaker stats? No, I wouldn't do that at all. That's why I'm saying I'm gonna use my rally in the fields. It's a beast rally pair, for sure, dude. 100%. No, I'm gonna be hitting hard with rallies, man. Uh, assuming that infantry are even still relevant, which I'm not convinced. Let's be real. I'm super worried. I must have asked half a dozen times. I was like, are you sure you want me to do Tata Gibbons the Autumn Bacall still? And it was like, yes. That is the thing. All right. Ooh. I wonder why this guy's marked rip. Are people trying to swarm that? Oh god. He has 170 million power. Man, this is crazy. This fort wall. So successful. Thoughts on the 1302 fort wall? I mean, I've mentioned it many times, but I think it was genius. I think it was an amazing out plan by 1302. And 1846 was not ready for it, man. They simply were not ready for it. And it, and it really caught them off guard, and it cost them a lot. Um, and it would have caught me off guard, too. I mean, it's just a really good play. It's a really, really, really good play. But what we, what we need to do now, chat, is I got to get done a Call of Dragons video. And what people said they wanted me to do is to live stream the Call of Dragons video and then turn it into a video separately. So I'm gonna fire up Call of Dragons. We're gonna record a video, because I gotta do that before going to bed. And we're gonna get, we're gonna bang this thing out, man. We're gonna get it done. All right, chat? So we're gonna fire this up. Ye old Call of Dragons. And we're gonna make a video, man. We're gonna make a video in the live stream. I'm gonna record it at the same time, and then I'll edit it later. Am I going for dragon scale or the flying one? Oh gosh, what's the flying one? I don't know. Kinda depends on what the flying one is. All right, chat, let me see if I can get this to work. Boom, boom.
Ha-ha. Ha-ha! It's Call of Dragons now. <laughs> okay. Boom. Let's go look and see what the event is, by the way. I haven't even looked. Forge of Light. Oh, the Visage of Sanctus. Oh, wow. That's actually a choice. Oh, wow. Flying unit defense and legion attack. Ooh. Consecutively grants three boon shields to selected friendly legion. Oh, man. That's actually crazy. Passive grants one stack of Mark of Judgment when the wielder grants a shield to a friendly legion. Dang. It's kind of crazy, actually. I got choices here, man. This thing is insane. Grants three boon shields to selected friendly legion. Boon shield factor 900. Unlock both? We definitely unlock both. But I think the dragon scale armor is pretty cracked. I think I got to go for this. Also grants a boon shield to your legion. And grants keen, which is attack to friendly legions nearby. That seems good. That seems good. All right. So we're just about ready to record the video. Here's the Forge of Light where we select them. They're both really good. Jacob, cheers. I'll see you tomorrow, dude. We claim some of these daily rewards. I don't even have gatherers out right now. I'm such a D-gen. But it's because I've been streaming Rise of Kingdoms all day, yo. We've just been streaming rock. We'll open up a bunch of keys. Ooh, we'll open up these artifact keys in the video too, man. For sure. Is it true Call of Dragons is more pay to win than rock? I don't think so. There's no crystal technology as of yet. So for as long as there's no crystal technology, I would say that it's not necessarily more pay to win. But I would say that at the start of the game, it's it's also still very like you, like yeah, you, like if you spend a bunch of money, you can get really far ahead of everybody else. You know, in Rise of Kingdoms, we've achieved a sort of end state where, you know, the end game, you expect everybody's got their T5s. But, like, we're a month into Call of Dragons, man. Most people don't have their T5s. So, you pay to win at the start, it's real. At the end game, it probably balances out a bit. But at the start, it's pretty cracked. Big advantage. Okay. We claim some of these rewards real quick as a part of the daily activities, and then we'll film this video together, chat. You and me, we make this vid. Kind of cool. Our alliance is the max gift level here. Just, I mean, this alliance is crazy. The number of spenders in here is... I mean, this is like a 1960-like alliance. It's just completely insane. It's like a 60 GT or a 1V. Tons of whales. I mean, we had like 30 people with T5 within the first month. Maybe it's 30. Maybe it's not quite 30. It's a lot. There's no KVK in this game, but it is seasonal. So every season... Yeah, still no claim all button. They still want you to see who gifted you the freaking boxes. Even if they are listed as anonymous. But like, look at this, man. This is how whaley this alliance is. I had claimed every single gift before I started stream four hours ago. And now look at this, chat. No end in sight to the gifts. It's, this alliance is absolutely cracked, man. Oh, okay. We just hit the 90 mark. At least claiming is faster than it is in Rock. I don't know. I mean, is it faster? Is it though? What's better, Saladin Nevsky or Nevsky Saladin? I'd probably go Nevsky Saladin for the increased damage. Dude, I'm going to get Carpal Tunnel just from claiming all this crap. This is season one for us, and we're about to hit season two. I don't know if you saw my videos where we were fighting and a bunch of other stuff. 
They even have the issue yeah, where it jumps around when someone buys a new chest. Bro, it's like the same code. All right. Cool. Good. Time to make the video. I think we're ready to go. What else do we need to know? We know what the artifacts do. We'll talk about that. We'll talk about what's in the bundle. And then we'll do it. All right. Let's turn off the music. And here we go, chat. You ready? We're going to record a video. We're going to record a video. You're, you're in on the action here. Why no Rise of Kingdoms? Uh, because I would have ended stream, but chat was like, don't end stream. Keep streaming. Film your COD video while you're live. And I was like, yeah, all right, let's do it. All right. We're looking good. Camera, just check this real quick. All right, better. Uh, Cool. Let's do it. Here we go. Two new artifacts just showed up in the Forge of Light, and they're both very strong. The Dragon Scale Armor, and also the Visage of Sanctus. So in this video, I'll help break down which one you should go for and why, and then I'm going to open a ridiculous number of keys, probably going for the Dragon Scale Armor, so let's do this thing. Hello, my friends, and welcome back. I'm Chisco Gaming, and I was super hyped to see the Dragon Scale Armor show up in the Forge of Light. I was really looking forward to getting this, and I was planning for it to be here, but I was not planning to see the Visage of Sanctus, which is also really, really strong. So in this video, we're going to go over which one you should go for, and as always, use the timestamps in the description to jump to whichever portion you're most interested in. If you just want to see me degen on the keys, you can jump right to it. But let's start with what the heck do these things even do. The Dragon Scale Armor is what I plan to go for. It boosts your infantry unit hit points and your legion hit points, which is very powerful on infantry because health is their highest base stat. So this gives them the most benefit. Now, the downside of this is that your infantry basically become a meat shield if you go this route. That's kind of what they're there for anyways. The ability on the Dragon Scale Armor activates at 400 range cost, which is really fast, and it grants a shield to your army and three friendly legions in a circle get Keen. Okay, so Keen is an attack boost. The Boon Shield when maxed is 4,500 factor, which is a lot. The duration is 10 seconds. It will probably last the full 10 seconds. And the attack boost is only 10%. It is not a significant attack boost. But the crazy thing is that this also has a passive effect. Your legion gains ranged resistance when the wielder gains a shield through rage skills. Well, this is interesting because this is not a shield from a rage skill, I think. I don't know if this qualifies. I actually don't know if this qualifies. But the passive effect is that... You get this resistance, 18% less damage taken from ranged. That's insane. That's really good. That is really good. That's mages. That's marksmen. I want it. Okay? I want it. Um, it lasts for five seconds. Sure. That's powerful. This basically means you're going to use this on Madeline because we know she has a rage shield, uh, and that's really, really powerful. So her rage skills give you a shield. This is who you would use it on. If you're not using Madeline who comes from the Wheel of Fortune, the Lucky Spins, I don't think you would want to get this, especially compared to the Visage of Sanctus. This guy is really crazy if you're moving all in on like your Atheist and your Thea in particular. Thea really is where this is at. So this gives you flying unit defense and legion attack. So it's a little more balanced. You're going to use your dust to get defense, and then the star levels on this thing give you attack. So I like this because your flying units do really want to do more damage. I find that my Thea is just really, really tanky. So much so that she's not able to protect my other marches. It's a problem. She's actually more of a tank. Um, and what this does is kind of doubles down on her shielding effect. This grants you three boon shields to selected friendly legions. The shield factor is 1,800 at max. The shield duration is 10 seconds. 
Um, and it's only 600 rage to activate, which is fast. As a passive ability, you grant one stack of Mark of Judgment to the wielder when they grant a shield to any friendly legion. So if you have an expertise, an awakened Thea, then this is really cool because she grants shields to other units when all her skills are maxed. But until that point, she's not granting skills to other units. So this whole passive thing isn't really doing much. But what does it do? You get your mark, and the mark of judgment stacks up to 10 times. Rage skills trigger supreme judgment and clear all marks of judgment stacks. Supreme judgment deals damage to the target legion. So you eke out damage, and the more stacks you end up accumulating, the more damage you would deal. It's artifact skill damage factor 500 per stack. Wow. Mark of Judgment are cleared after the battle ends. This is kind of wild. Mark of Judgment stacks 10 times. Rage skills trigger Supreme Judgment, but it clears all your Marks of Judgment stacks. So I can't imagine you stack up that much. All this to say, the Visage of Sanctus is what you want to use if you've got Athea and she's talented. You know, she's got her max skills. And that's because of this right over here, granting shields to other armies. But until that point, I mean, it, it, yeah, I just don't feel like it's something I get a lot of value out of because I'm missing a lot of the benefit. All that passive stuff I'm not even doing. I'm not granting shields to other units. So I think it's still strong. Uh, and I, <laughs> the other thing I'll say about Visage of Sanctus before we actually go pull is that I found my flying units were so damn slow that I wanted to use the March Speed artifact anyways. So I just, I'm, I'm kind of lukewarm on the Visage of Sanctus, which is why I'm going to go instead for the Dragon Scale Armor. Now, if you're free to play or a low spender and you're like, oh man, I want this Dragon Scale Armor, let me tell you something. I have been using the free to play obtainable artifacts and been very happy. I really like Dragon Rift. It's big damage. You don't have to get this thing if you're free to play or a low spender. Now, if you are going to spend on this event, let me show you very briefly a quick reminder of what's in the bundle. At $5, you get three keys. $10, you get five keys. $20, you're up to 10 keys. $50, bucks, you get 25 keys. Then $100, bucks, you get 50 keys. You can buy this uh, up to the $100 tier one time, and that resets for three days in a row. So you can do that three days in a row. And I have been saving my keys specifically for this. Because I am very interested in that Dragon Scale Armor. Now, I was more interested in it before I actually found myself just really enjoying the Dragon Rift. And the way this event works is you select what you want for your Pity Artifact. If you get two Legendary Artifacts in a row that are not your Pity Artifact, then the next Legendary you get is guaranteed to be your Pity. So, my Pity item here is the one I really want. And that's the Armor. And... It's important to look at what other legendary artifacts we might get here. And this is a little bit cringe. Uh, some of these are hype and some of them are not. I am obviously very happy still kind of getting Visage of Sanctus. I'm okay with it. Uh, the Storm Arrows are okay. I used these. I found them to be more mediocre than I thought. And that was purely because their range increases. This item blinks. It teleports you, which is wicked. But the teleport range increases when it gets higher level. Mine was so low level that I couldn't teleport far enough. And the whole point was to teleport up mountains and over rivers. I could go up mountains. I couldn't go across rivers. And I got kind of wrecked because I thought I could go over the river. <laughs> so anyways, Storm Arrows is okay, but I'm like very lukewarm on it compared to the other cavalry artifacts. Karada's Wrath is just bad. I don't plan to use this ever. Uh, it's peacekeeping item. Agent Tree Roots is uh, actually the worst artifact in the game, I think. So that's a GG. The Bloodblade Banner could actually be good for rallying, but you rally almost never in this game. So a small number of people in your server will want it. And Kingslayer, bro, this is wicked. Okay, this one, if you get this, you're damn happy. You hit five enemies, and if any of them were 10% or less, you instantly kill them. This thing is insane for cavalry. It's very good. It's a nice alternative to the Sorlin Blade. It's just more punchy. You would go for this for more punch. So, let's do our pulls. I have 371 keys because I 
have been max purchasing this bundle for a while and not actually ripping, ripping open any keys because I was waiting for this. So here we go. GG, please. Give me the legendaries. We need the legendaries, okay? Green Finger Sickle, it, don't, don't care. If it's epic, I don't care. That's 10 pulls we've done. Every 90 pulls, you're guaranteed a legendary, by the way. So we keep track. There's 20 pulls, no legendary. Here we go. Come on. 30 pulls, no legendary. Please, please give me legendary. 40, no legendary. Oh my God. Come on. We go for 50 pulls, no legendary. Okay, this is bad. Chat, this is not going well. <laughs> Yikes. 60 pulls, let's go. Okay, 60 is not pity. I'll take 60, it's not pity. We didn't go to pity. Do we get the artifact that we wanted? Please don't be a trash artifact. Come on, let's go. Okay, dragon scale armor. All I need to do is get it four more times, right chat? No big deal. Hey, no big deal. We just got to get it four more times. We're max skill. All right, cool. Hey, we did it. We did it. Let's go. All right, now, I just want to show you. Because the artifact we got was the one we wanted, this remains zero out of two. All right? It only ups the pity counter for this guy if you're getting the wrong legendary, the one you didn't choose. Here we go. Ten pull. Nothing. All right? Twenty pull. Nothing. All right. Fine. 30. Nothing. I mean, we're probably going to pity here, right, chat? Like, uh, man, it's, it's like the reality. Uh, 40. Okay. Nothing. <laughs> so you can see, by the way, if you're a light spender in this game and you thought you'd like, you know, get a couple keys and get lucky. Like, that's not how this event works. 50. Nope. Still nothing. All right. 60? The real trick to this event is to hoard up however you're doing it. Even if you're low spend, okay, or free to play, and you're getting your keys for free when you trade uh, at, at the merchant, you just want to... There we go. What was that? 60 or 70? I wasn't keeping track. Chad will have to help me out on that one. Please. Okay? Oh, my God. Uh, it's the worst one! Ancient Tree Roots is literally... The actual worst legendary artifact in the game. So the good news is that in Season 2, you need legendary artifacts as fodder for increasing your star level on the ones you care about. So it's like not the end of the world. I need fodder. Fine. All right. Back to the drawing board. 10 spot. Oh, by the way, I should show this to you. You can see now our pity counters at plus one. So we're at one on the pity counter. All right. 20. Here we go. All right, 30? Oh, <laughs> nope. Okay, I don't need any of these epics. I literally don't need any of this. The epics actually will be necessary fodder, but all the other stuff I got more than enough of. Okay, 40? Nothing. GG? Okay, 50? No. Get wrecked? <laughs> oh, God. 60? Get wrecked? Okay. Sure. 70? Oh, no, chat. We're going to pity. We're going to pity. We're going to pity. Okay. 80? We didn't go to pity. We didn't go to pity. We got an artifact before pity. I guess that's good. Come on. Come on! No way! The worst artifact again! Oh, that's actually really bad. That's actually really bad. Uh, okay. Chat, get wrecked, nerds. Here we go. Ten. Uh, oh, my God. By the way, you can see my pity counters at two. Now I'm guaranteed to get the legendary I want. So now, now we just need the pull to happen soon. We go to double pity if it's 90 and they gift me the legendary I want. Oh, 30. Big poggers, only 30. Okay, good. Okay, it's guaranteed. That's right. Damn right. It was guaranteed. Okay. We weigh 30. All right. And see, counter goes back to zero. Oh, God. Okay. Now, the trick to this event is that you're managing to your pity counters. 
So if you're a mid-spender or you didn't hoard up a lot of keys, you bounce after you can't guarantee you're going to get to your pity to get your guaranteed drop. You bounce. You stop. You're done. I know that I have two more days worth of bundles. And with two more days worth of bundles, even if I go to pity, I can get one more dragon scale armor, which is why I continue. So we continue, chat. The remaining keys will have to be on other days if I do end up going all the way to pity. But today we see how far we get. Because tomorrow and the day after, I can buy more keys. There's 20. Okay. 30. GG. We're not there yet. 40. Come on. Come on, man. Why you gotta be like this? 50? We just want some dragon skill armor, bruh. Okay! Okay, 60. 60, chat. 60. That's not terrible. Storm arrows. Well, I mean, okay. Well, we could add back in that that is a little bit terrible. I really wasn't interested in the storm arrows. I really was not. I find them to be mostly unnecessary. That, I mean, uh, that's probably fodder. That's, that's, that's probably fodder right there. Um, so my pity counter goes up. Dude, I, like, at least give me the visage of Sanctus, you know? Like, I would like to have that in my inventory, okay? I just want to have it in the inventory. Okay, 10 pull. We keep going. 20. Come on. No luck. Bruh. 30. No luck. We'll see how far we get, chat. I may, I may be in trouble here. 40. I may be in trouble here. I may not get a legendary now. It may have to happen after reset when I buy more keys. 50? 50? Okay. 60? Please. Let me get this for stream. Come on. Damn it. 70. <laughs> Yikes. Now... You can get some keys free to play, okay? I can open this one at a time. Probably not gonna get there. How do you get your free to play keys? I can't believe that says down to clown, by the way. Um, this pop-up I will definitely buy for the money. It is super high value. But you go over here to Goblin Market, you hit exchange, and there are five keys you can get per week. So I can exchange some amount of this fodder that I have now. Like, I mean, pff, I don't need all this. Let's get rid of 60 of these. And that gives me a bunch, sure. 60 of these, uh, sure, 52, whatever. I don't know why I even keep any of these around. Like, I don't know if I really need them. Um, I got 35 of these. Bro, we get rid of 20 of those. 2-0, scrap. And that gives me enough currency for five more keys. So every week, you definitely want to try to get those keys. Um, and I'll open those five keys now because, you know, obviously we're not waiting. So this will put us up to 76 total keys ripped through. Come on. Give me the legendary. Give me. Yes, let's go. We didn't go to pity. We didn't go to pity and we got a legendary. Okay. What's it going to be? Come on. Hey, I'll take it. I'll take it. I'll take it. Now I have a visage of Sanctus. At least I have the damn thing. I have it. I'm on my way to pity. And what will I do? I'll buy the bundle one more time. I'll probably get a dragon scale armor if I go to pity. I mean, I'll go to pity. And then I probably stop. Because even if I buy the bundle one more day, I can't guarantee that I'll get enough keys. Or I'll continue and I'll start spending gems like a real degen. And that'll be pretty fun. I might start spending gems like a proper degen. That... Might be how I have to do it. But if we look at the progress that I got, okay, I can go to my heroes. We can go to Nika. I'm using Nika paired with Madeline. All right, I can replace my Dragon Rift. I can use the Dragon Scale Armor. Replace. We can power this up real quick because I, mean, I got nothing else to do with my dust this season anyways. So we can take this thing to some higher levels. All right. Uh, I mean, I got plenty of dust. This is like a non-issue. We go all the way to 40. Easy clap. All right. Easy. And from here, I can increase the star level. Okay. Star level. First, you use the green items. And you ascend it. 
That's why I, I kept some of them, is because I knew I would need some of these. And then we can ascend it again. There's some Legion hit points. Let's get rid of the blue items, whatever. Doesn't matter which one I choose. They're all maxed out for me at this point anyways. Easy. And then I got to get rid of purples. First thing you always get rid of is your sort of universal. That's right over here. Universal hits the bin. All right, easy. Get rid of these other ones. Doesn't matter. Boom. Max star level. Easy. Now, this will give me another bundle triggered at the level 30 on the artifact, if I'm not mistaken. So let's just see if that happens. There it is. There it is. I will buy all these and open them up. Uh, but there's one last thing we need to do, which is to actually put the skill levels on the damn thing. So I started with 2,200 boon shield factor, 10% attack for the 10 seconds, right? Uh, and it's only 9% damage taken reduction from ranged. If I increase this, now we get 11% reduction from ranged and 2,700 shield factor. Cool. Um, only level two at this point is a little bit disappointing. Like I know I'll get to level three, but if I really want to take this further, I'm going to have to gem. I think that's the only way to do it. And the question will be like, uh, how many gems is this going to take? And do I want to save for something in the future? You know, like if I go all in on this item, then I will be low keys for future things, which then you have to just use gems. And I've been buying a lot of stuff with gems in this store. Let me tell you, every time I get a VIP shop reset, ooh, I mean, I buy gold keys, I buy artifact keys, I buy all the damn speed ups. Um, there's a lot I'm pulling out of this store. Oh, I even buy the gold heads over here, which like you might want to save your gems depending on your spend level, because maybe in season two, it's a season two token instead of just a season one token but from here i do have a couple more artifact keys to rip open just for fun we got 10 keys over here okay no luck gg no luck we'll open the single key because you know we're trying to get artifacts we didn't get it all right is what it is i had a lot of fun ripping it ripping open all these keys today to show you what you get and what it kind of takes i don't know how many thousands of dollars that you need to spend to guarantee you get a max artifact but it's not a small amount of money. So even just getting the, the artifact you want, getting a hold of it, should be just the goal for most people. So whatever that artifact is, just getting a hold of it is pretty good. And that's a part of the reason why I said at the start of the video, hey, you know what I really enjoyed? Was just getting Dragon Rift, man. This has been great. It came from the keys that I'm getting all the time anyways. That you don't have to spend money to get. Which is pretty good. So consider... Just hoarding up, and, you know, if you're not going for uh, these particular artifacts, just save for something else and wait until you have a lot of keys. If you enjoyed the video, do me a favor, throw a like on here and consider subscribing. If you're looking for more information about artifacts, I'll have a card in the end screen with a video ranking some of the artifacts that I think are the very best in the game. Or alternatively, I'll show you the last Forge of Light if you want to see what we got then. And I've got a whole playlist with Forge of Light videos so you can find exactly what you're looking for. Cool. Chat, we did it. Yo, video made. Let's go. Let's go. Um, I feel like I got... This is Kali kind of okay luck there. I got pretty dunked. I mean, bro, two of those trash artifacts? Ugh. Ugh, that was really cringe. <laughs> that was really bad. That was really bad. But I will buy these bundles now and then open those keys with you. So let's just do that real quick. Let's just do that right quick. We put, uh, let's see here, Rise of Kingdoms back up on the screen. Right? And then I can step onto my iPad and buy these bundles. Oh, connection unstable. Chee <laughs> chee. All right. Maybe we don't put Rise of Kingdoms back on the screen. Maybe we go to the, uh, the old war room over here. All right, chat. Oh, that's not even the right one. Hold on, this war room. There we go. That's the one. That's the one. All right, cool, 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 cool. All right, let's open this up. Man is the goat. Uh, man spends a lot of money in mobile games anyways. We, I am, hold on, let me get behind the table. I am, I am spending a lot of money in mobile games anyways. All right, here we go. We're gonna open this up on the iPad. And pull up Call of Dragons. I'm going to just buy these bundles. Gives me another 25 pulls. That's pretty sweet. 
then we'll open up Call of Dragons again. We'll rip them open, okay? See what we get. Pass opening. I'm going to be streaming in mm, probably 14 UTC. Fire it up. Should be a good time. Go for Boudica. Chat says. I don't know. I think Zuge Leong is like kind of legit. I think I think you might need to start there. Quick review of the KVK map before I head out. Uh, yeah, we could get a look around. See who's where. All right, I purchased the keys. Let me just open up Call of Dragons again. And uh, we'll go check this out. Make some purchases here. Rip open these keys. Normally, the keys that you buy cost more. So, it's the pop-ups are a good deal per key. Even though I don't need the dust anymore, which is a bit of a rip. All right, here we go. Boom. Boom. There we go. There we go, baby. All right, keys. Artifact keys. God, this, uh, it, I mean, it, these things are crack, man. 25 keys. It, it does not get you very far, chat. I'll tell you what. 25 keys does not get you far. The real key is that eventually you get to pity. And pity gives you something nice. Hopefully. We'll open them all for, for stream. Going one at a time at the end worked out. Okay, on stream, it worked out. Will it work out now? Will we get a legendary? Looks like the answer's no. GG. GG. Keys exhausted. But it was a... It was worth going for. Um, I don't know if I will end up using this other artifact, man. I really feel like I need the march speed. But... I mean, I can max this out, I guess. It doesn't really matter at this point. But, um, hmm. I could use this new one. Star this bad boy up. Flying unit defense consecutively grants three boon shields to a selected friendly legion. Three times? Three times is kind of crazy. How does that even work? This isn't rock. That's true. All right, let's switch it back to rock, chat. You can shield the tanks in front of you. That does seem pretty good. You think so, King Claw? You think it's pretty clutch? So, does she get three stacks of the, um... Does she get three stacks? Let's see here, replace... If I use this, is she getting three stacks of the Mark of the Judgment? And then she does 250 factor per stack? That ain't bad. But I feel like my flying units always need March Speed, man. They are so effing slow. We'll see. We'll see. Okay. Rise of Kingdoms. Let's open it up. Boom. Ready, set, go. We get behind the table real quick. And then we flip back over in just a second. We back, be back in rock. Am I streaming 12 hours later? And man, it's not even 12 hours later. It's not even going to be 12 hours later. It's going to be really soon. How many hours is it from now? Probably like 10. All right, here we go. Should switch over to rock in a second. Don't mess with me. Don't mess with me. Hello? Oh, hold on. I know why. Ah, uh, just kidding. How about now? Hey, <laughs> okay. Cool, cool, cool. We got their chat. Um, yeah, we rip all these open. Hmm. Kind of garbage. They usually are. And what did we do, need to do in Rise of Kingdoms? Give you a look around. The little looky-loo. 
I got an achievement. What achievement did I get? Oh. Oh. I did not know I could get another Iconic Crystal. I did not know I was on the doorstep of another Iconic Crystal chat. Oh, that's so exciting. That's so exciting. I thought I got all the Iconic Crystals I could get. Hello? Dude! That's cool! Where am I putting it? That's awesome, man! Dude, Iconic Crystals are like freaking crack. They're so good. Not that I actually know what crack is like, but you know. It's just an expression. Take it easy. Um... I'm nearly at your power. In Call of Dragons. Okay. Do I start putting Iconics on leadership gear? Ugh, hi yeah. Do I start doing my leadership set? Guan weapon? But like, shouldn't I do the leadership set though? Like, shouldn't I be doing leadership now? Like, aren't we at that point where it's like, you make a crit leadership set? You garrison with that or something? What's my take on Zuge Leong? He's one of the most powerful commanders in the game. He's at the same power level as Nevsky and Skippy Prime. He's insane. He he's actually just cracked, man. Pass opens at 15 UTC. Yeah, no, Zuge Leung Max? Yes, that that is the play. For sure. I mean, do I start putting Iconics on leadership gear, man? Oh my god. Because I have a crit iconic archer set. I got a crit iconic cav set, an infantry set. I mean, I could technically do accessories. How do I stream for so long? Uh, I'm a D-Gen. I've always been a D-Gen my whole life. And I found a way to make money doing it by streaming. Do what you want, I trust you. Shit, I don't know. I'm going to sleep on it, I guess. Um, In terms of how this is looking. I mean, we got this pass over here where... I, dude, I mean, if they wanted to confuse us as to which direction they're going... Congratulations. I do not know which way you're going. I assume they commit hard right, but they also could punish us if we don't clean up the left. And the left is supposed to be our safe zone, so we can't fool around with that. Looks like they're going to the right, though. They're, they're definitely going right. I mean, they got to. If they don't help out 846, they're in trouble. So they got to go where 846 is, man. This is, this is where they got to be ported. They're just not all ported in yet, which I find really confusing. But they're probably just chilling. I mean, we're all chilling. We're not all at the pass. Look, look at this crap. We're all over the place. We even got people in the first zone, bro. Um, what about over here? I don't know. This is this is more what I expect the pass opening. Oh no! Nah, see, nobody's ported in yet. Look, nobody's even ported in yet. It's kind of whatever. I mean, it's a little surprising, I'm not going to lie, but in both, in both 1254 and 365, this is what it should look like. Q Savon holding it down over here by porting in nice and early in, in neat little rows. That's that's what I was expecting to see, man. What about HMB? You see, this is what I'm expecting to see when there's a pass opening, bro. That That's what I, this is what I expect, bro. 
This is what I expect. Everybody's ass poured it over to that pass, man. Yeah, this is what it should look like. That's, that's, that's right. That's what it should look like. All right, so anyways. How about in Wib? What are these guys? These guys are busy though. Like th these guys that uh, shouldn't be ported at the pass. They should be fighting if they're fighting, you know? So like that, you can't judge how they're ported. That's not fair. It would, they, they shouldn't be ported here. They still are fighting down over here, man. Yo, big, big shout out to these guys. In 846 and 1302 and 2325, man. 2325, 2327. I don't know, man. I'm tired. I'm tired. I probably need to get my ass to bed, man. Let's see. 27, right? 2327? Yeah, there it is. All right, cool. If you enjoyed today's live stream, do me a favor. Throw a like on the stream. Consider subscribing. At 180 million power, can I be rallied? Absolutely, bro. Absolutely, I can be rallied. I get wrecked if I get rallied. If I'm not careful. Absolutely. All right. Doesn't look like anyone else is streaming. Redline, are you streaming, bro? What are you doing, man? Are you streaming, bro? Yeah, see, Cortex would rally me. Is Redline streaming? No? Yes, no. Doesn't look like it. You in the chat still, Redline? You still here, buddy? Redline. I see you. I will raid you. No? Okay, no red line, I think. Red line streams later, he said. Like, later than now? Hold on, let me just ping him. Red line. Bro, are you streaming? Soon? We'll give him a few minutes. Okay. Stream Call of Dragons? I actually did earlier. Um, so, oh, Redline replied. All right. He says he appreciates it, but he is spending some time with his wife before he goes missing in action for, for a week. Cheers. See you tomorrow. All right, chat. Then we're out, baby. Thanks for joining me for this legendary stream. Five hours today and freaking 12 hours tomorrow. I'll see y'all tomorrow. And until next time, you have fun smashing the kingdom. See y'all real soon. Take care, everybody. And I appreciate your support. Thank you so much for dropping into the stream today. Thank you.